Guardians of the Galaxy is very light-hearted anyway, but you know what I mean. Still haven't seen the Avenger Endgame movie. I don't think I'll ever watch that kind of stuff without a lot of convincing, because I'm pretty sure those films are like four hours long. And fucking four hours. Yo, what up? What a tune. <laughs> Not loud in my headphones. I think that's just on my end though. Yeah, that sounds better. Hello everyone, happy weekend. Hello Wolf, thanks for the good luck. Yo D-Bear, you know it. Yo Ask Elf. Yo Kit Kats. Yo Shikari. What's up? Yo Kazo. Good job on your PB, it was awesome to go back and rewatch. Thank you. I'm I'm pretty happy with it. Yo Vietus. Yo from Finland. Yo from England. Suomi Torilla Tavatan. Yo, Papegatras. Yo, Lito. We can kiss IRL if you want. Why did you have to say this? It's like pretty much all the Finnish I know. I, I know that, and then I just know a bunch of swear words. That's that's my as far as my Finnish goes. Let's go to the market and how to like summon satan those are those are my two those are my two finish like qualities that's my repertoire of words that's all i've got for you all right let's bounce if you weren't here last time we got to we finished half of film studios so we finished uh dildo dodo which took like two and a bit hours not an easy mission and now we're on to uh martha's mugshot so two more missions left and then we're like almost done with assets. We just have taxi and print works left. And I don't think any of those, or at least from, from what people said, those aren't nearly as hard. Okay, we don't get a helicopter. We get a Benson. You need transport, use the Benson around the back. Okay, so it says if you need transport, use the Benson. Of course, it has two pop tires. So we don't need to use the Benson. Can I swap to the burrito? Oh, the driver's already going. He, he is off. Can I show it to the Benson or will I fail? Oh, not to the Benson, the burrito. Yeah, I've already failed. Okay. Let me get the burrito and I'll park it nearby. Because their Benson with two pop tires is, is kind of useless to me. I'd be much better off just parking a car here and using this. Yo, Sam Squanch, welcome. You're just in time. And then we'll just sprint to it. We should have enough time. Yo, Felix, welcome. It's not here. Okay. Maybe if I sprint, I'll be fast enough to come and get it. And it's not here either. What the fuck? Where is the burrito? Hello? Does it just not spawn in this mission? Is it like, is it like scripted to get rid of all the decent fucking spawns on the map or am I just getting trolled? What the hell, man? Let me try this again. If it's not there, then I'm just going to assume it's just not there at all. Is it there? I can't see. I don't think it is. I oh, know it is. Okay. I just... Got unlucky the first time, I guess. Go. Fuck the Benson. Well, we don't really have time to get a helicopter. Either. Helicopter is what makes this usually very easy. But I'm curious, like, there's a good chance that even if I got a helicopter, it might just, you know, not be useful at all. This guy is not driving too well. What if you did it like Curly Bob and steal the limo, drive a SL? Doesn't work. You can't steal the limo. It's locked. And even if you brought a limo there, 
Candy is scripted to get into that specific car, not just the nearest taxi or whatever. Jesus, they drive like a maniac. Has every mission changed? To my knowledge, yes. Call me Martha. Oh, Alex. I mean Martha. Whatever you say. Even stuff like the SSA races and stuff, are, apparently. Oh yeah, so this this wouldn't work in a in a thing in a heli. We need to get ten good shots. Camera has all four lenses, so you only need to get closer. Okay. Do I get like a big wanted level if I take a picture? They drive pretty fast. You're in range. It's gonna be kind of tough. I need to. Martha, someone's watching. Okay. Hides an embarrassment. Keep on following. Okay. We got two stars. I can only imagine we're just gonna get a really high wanted level. Okay. And he just hides for a bit and then continues on. But they drive like a psycho, so there's a good chance we might be able to get them stuck somewhere. You just gotta like drive past them and get a picture whenever you have time. And then just get out and back in again. is isn't too bad so far. Two stars is perfectly doable. But I can only assume it's gonna ramp up soon. Benson with two pop tires though, never happening. PCJ would be like better, but oh, I could even get another picture there actually. Actually, no, he's hiding an embarrassment. What am I saying? Okay, three stars, slightly more difficult because they might pop my tires. So I need to need to watch out. I've only taken four pictures. It's not a lot. This is good because they're on a straight road. I might even be able to like pit maneuver. Them. Yeah, and then just take one. If you could get them stuck somewhere, this would be really easy. Get them, like, stuck in, I don't know, like a garden or something, you know? Yo, Tigra, welcome. <laughs> You're an annoying spawn. Bro, can I move, please? I legit can't move. I'm having to flip that cheetah. That's how badly I can't fucking move. Okay, we're gonna have to switch. I guess I'll switch to the police cheetah. Hopefully I don't fail getting too far away. Oh my god, come on. They're going back across the bridge, okay. Interesting. Well, at least, at least we seemingly can't fail. Fuck's sake. I looked away for one second to look at the map and I got my fucking tires marked. Yeah. It looks like at least we can't fail due to, uh, being too far away. Yeah, bro saw that one V mission, yeah. Uh, this is not ideal. I'll switch to the PCJ, I guess. Because doing this with a pop tire, I'm never gonna catch them. Well, I mean, unless they give me a freebie like this, I might be able to catch them. Nope. Can't ram them for some reason. Okay, give me this PCJ. We should be really good with the PCJ. The only tricky part is the three stars that we can't get rid of, but as long as we drive well and get somewhat lucky with the cops, we should be all right. Hello. Ah, oh, they turned around.
The good thing about the bike as well is we can just chuck it. Like, we can just do this. I was in the range for the photo there, but it just didn't count. Okay. But yeah, you can just chuck the bike, and then while Alex is fucking about being scared or whatever, then you can just go and get your bike back. These guys are being so annoying. Let me just keep going like this. Yo, I just welcome. Go left? Fuck you. Yeah. Go straight across the bridge. Oh my god, this guy's trolling. He's driving around in circles. Ugh, excuse me. Four stars. Right. Ow. Four stars is going to be a little more tricky, but honestly, there isn't really a better way to do this than just get lucky with the cops. These guys have completely immobilized my bike. Look at this. And I'm dead. Wow. What the fuck? The cops just didn't miss a single shot. I had a hundred health and all of those cops just shot me all in a row and killed me. Amazing. They rammed me into a corner, which meant that my only choice was to try and kill them. And in two seconds, I went from a hundred health to dead. Yeah, that was very fair. The pain spray doesn't get rid of your wanted level, so it doesn't do anything. Amazing. Well, I guess we just get the PCJ and try again, lol. Do the same thing again, but get luckier. Really surprised you have this many shots with the camera. Yeah, I wouldn't have been surprised if it gave you 10 camera shots and if you miss once, it's over. It doesn't even tell you that you're getting too close. It just fails you. I don't know why I expected a message saying you're getting too close, to be fair. Don't know what I expected. Shame that the spawns on Porn Island are legit garbage. There's like no. There's no good cars on Prawn Island that spawn in traffic. Just nothing. Spawns are terrible. I wanted that PCJ, but I'll have to get my own. Hey. Uh, Candy, could you call me Martha? Oh, Alex. I mean Martha. Whatever you say. Wait. 
bank is still there. What the fuck? What? The bike was just sat there. I guess at the red light, but then it just drove anyway. I didn't realize until it was too late. I could have grabbed it. But I, I didn't expect it to just be sat there the whole time. I thought it would have gone miles away by that point. Whatever. Whatever. Let's get in and get out nice and quickly. Let's not get trolled by this guy constantly driving in circles, please. Martha, someone's watching. How kinky. Being a cop. Come back, yeah. Bro, how is that not a good photo? It said I was in range. They were in the fucking view of the camera. Fuck, man. Even in vanilla, the camera fucking code is janky as hell, to be fair. Can't really blame the mod for that. Jesus, they fucking creamed my bike miles away. Get out. Don't want to deal with you guys. It was a night, so it's going okay. This mission doesn't look too bad. It looks pretty doable. The only thing stopping me is the cops just randomly fucking me like that. I'm pretty much at the mercy of them right now, but otherwise I don't expect this mission to take too long. Famous last words and all that, but shouldn't take too long. It's not too bad. Whereas Dildo Dodo, I was like, I can tell this is going to take me a while, you know. Of course they turn away. That would have been a free picture, but... This is taking so long. Why not just take photos from the hotel and go back on Sparrow Helicopter? I'm not sure if that was just like a shit joke or what. But I don't know what to tell you really. Why not just do a strategy that wouldn't work? Like sit on the hotel and somehow get photos of the person even though they're driving miles away from the hotel? I don't know, like, I don't know if that was just like a really shit attempt at being funny or what, but what you said makes absolutely no sense. Will I get lucky and this will be open? I'll get the photo first. If this is open, I get a free heal. Pass is locked. I don't know what the chance of it being locked, but I feel like it's always fucking locked. Oh, I did not see that. That, that's that fucking massively blends in that staircase. I would like to heal if possible if I end up going near ammunition, but I'm not going to go out of my way to heal. I don't think it's worth it. Because in theory, I shouldn't take that much damage. Ow. Okay. Ow. I'm I'm dead just like that. Literally stun locked by two people randomly driving into me and now I'm fucking basically dead. Awesome. I had to go and heal. Does their route seem predetermined? No, it's entirely random. They drive in on completely random paths. Okay, right, two more. Fuck. I'm getting so unlucky with them choosing to drive. They always drive the one, like, way that I can't fucking get to them. It's so annoying. 
Like, if he'd have driven south there, it would have been a free pitcher, but I just keep getting trolled. I'm going to go to the mall and I'm going to go and get armor. Because he's driving up here anyway. Oh my god, I legit looked away for a second. And that just spawned right in front of me. Holy fuck, man. This guy going to bust me? No. But these guys are going to park right in front of me for some reason. And there's a spike strip. This is unbelievably fucking bullshit, dude. Having those, like, spawn out of nowhere and then just get wrecked like this. I'm just going to go for this. It's so unbelievably bullshit. Having stuff just keep spawning in front of me. Yeah, I, I can only assume that you're trolling at this point. But if you read the title, it very clearly says that I'm playing a mod. So I, I guess I'd recommend reading the title. I don't know. I don't really know what to tell you aside from that. Yep. Don't get another PCJ and we'll try and get the last two. Hey Sigma, thanks for the good luck. Never heard of this mod? It's fine. It's just it. I'm sure you can uh, understand that, you know. Answering the same question all the time is like easily fixed 99% of the time by putting information in the title and stuff. So it's always good to read it before you come in and start saying like, you know, start like giving me advice on how to beat a mission that I obviously know how to play. Like, I appreciate that you're just trying to help, but yeah. Vanilla strategies don't work for the for this mod. It's intended to be hard as hell. Okay. Now. okay. Going to Prawn Island is good. Going around Prawn Island is perfect because he's fixed into a loop. Uh, I don't have my fucking camera equipped. Fuck. Where did my bike go? I've legit lost my bike. I have no idea where it went. Where the fuck did my bike go? How did it go all the way over there? Fucking hell. I would have been done right now if I didn't fuck up. God's sake. Dildo Dodo is way worse. Enigma, don't worry. Than this. This is second try and I should be able to do this. Unless I keep getting trolled by the cops over and over again. That guy hit me at like two miles an hour and somehow fucking knocked me off my bike. Like, fuck off. These guys are legit just such huge trolls. I've never seen anything like this. I'm pretty sure the cops are modified. Like, police don't act like this in the regular game. They're not that accurate and they don't drive to try and run you over like that. They, like, if I didn't move there, he would have just insta-kill run me down. That just doesn't happen in the regular game. I've never seen that type of behavior from the police. <laughs> Should be a free picture here. Andy's pissed off at me now. All right. Ow. But I'm just leaving back to the film studio, I guess. I can only assume. I've clearly lost him. He's miles away. There we go. There's people guarding it. I thought there would be because there isn't vanilla. I have a pun up my sleeve though. I prepared for this. Easy way to not have to deal with them. Jump over them. Out. There we go. 
Easy. Let's go. Ow. Some random guy with an M4 shooting me after the mission. Cool. There we go. Nice and easy. Second try. Not too bad. Yeah, mission was second try. Remember you mentioned with the toughest mod, toughen mod that it's unfair, but at least it's not random. I see why now. What? <laughs> I don't know what I was... What you're referring to exactly. Just inhaled one kilogram of meat. Feeling so tired. Who said food gives you energy? One kilo of meat. God damn. Guy's a machine. I'm sorry. Yo, Swerver. Yes, it is. Yo, Rob. Steve wants an epic bike scene for his porn movie. You also need to adjust the spotlight on top to the building in downtown. The director wants you to drive a freeway. There will be a cameraman to record the montages. You'll need to get onto the roofs of the buildings, keep the footage perfect, and do not fall off your bike. Okay. So, do it on a freeway, with a guy on the back, and don't fall off. That's not gonna be the easiest thing I've ever done. Because falling off, especially on a freeway on these jump jumps, is way harder. First the heat noodles were all now the inhale meat. Yeah. At least it's not snowing. True. True. Is this cutscene gonna be modified? I was gonna say, I, I wouldn't be surprised if it was like ridiculously loud farting noises. Because the dev is like hash one toilet humor. All right, let's go. I haven't done this mission in a while, so learning the jumps and stuff might take a few tries. Because some of them you kind of have to do a blind like this to not fall off. You have to kind of, okay. This one you can just kind of drop off. You don't need to go that fast. Here. This one is difficult to not fall off. You gotta get like the perfect amount of speed. There we go. This one is fine, I think. Don't need a lot of speed for this. I might clip the back though, which would be bad. No, I'm good. Okay. So far, so good. Get a nice lineup on some of these. Bit more of a run up because we don't have a very fast bike. Hit this so we don't fall off. This one is fine. You don't need to run up. We're good. This one, I honestly don't remember. I'm just going to kind of hit it. Oh, this, this is the one where you turn right. Yeah, this is fine. This one might be tricky. Yeah. Because there's this curb here. You've got to hit it. It's only a very small platform. So you've got to hit it really slow, but then also turn and not hit this curb. That's the hard bit. And I can only assume that I can't, like, bail off or something as well. Yeah, it seems pretty fair. you just got to be precise. Nothing wrong with that, but not a bad first try. Yo, Marcus, welcome. Yo, DPS. I can only assume that if I press F to bail off, I fail. Oh, I can't bail off, okay. Because I have a passenger, right. Well, that's one way to stop me from bailing off intentionally. Yo, Sham, welcome. Ugh. 
It'll just take me a bit to get used to the movement, I think. That jump is, I think, the hardest one. You love this mod so much you play it every day? Damn right. To be fair, NZ Grim, the uh, the film studios haven't been too bad. There is quite a lot of uh, skill-based stuff. Oh, I've massively undershot this. <laughs> Whoops. All right, stop reading chat when trying to do jumps. I need to actually concentrate. Yeah, film studios has been like mostly skill, which is pretty insane to say because pretty much every other asset has had like maybe one skill-based mission and the rest are just luck. There's still a lot of luck, luck elements to it. Like with recruitment drive, just spawning in a bunch of guys' crosshairs. Um, Marta's mugshot, the police, are very random, but for the most part, your skill will get you quite far. Whereas missions like Boomshine, Saigon and stuff, you don't need, like, any skill to beat them. You just need a ton of patience, that's it. Whereas these, you need to be decent at the game to have a chance. Otherwise, they would take you forever. Yo, Tech Pixel, welcome. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're all having a good weekend. Did you guys saw the guy, the guy on the back of my bike when the when the person fired, his like neck like broke. Yeah, the the scripted police car on recruitment drive is pretty silly as well. But again, if you're skilled enough, it's not really a big problem, you know? Like... It is- it is skill to deal with it, is what I mean. Oof, I undershot that a bit, but I got away with it. Got away with it. It's always good to undershoot, because if you hit a wall on the other side, you'll always fall off. But if you hit, like, a curb on, like, the front side, then you might be okay. Because landing on them isn't too bad. Oh, fucks. Legit, I hit, like, this, and you couldn't even see it. It was like that. I, I couldn't even see it. I thought the stairs were, like, next to the wall. But I hit, like, the one pixel thin fucking thing. Ah. <sighs> Fuck's sake. Luckily it doesn't take too long to have another attempt, like, it's like a minute or so. Whereas some missions it's like 20 minutes of setup to then have one go at the difficult bit, you know? <laughs> have I been to Germany? I've been to, uh, Berlin in 2019 for TwitchCon, because ESA was there, and I did a run for them. So we spent a long weekend in uh, Germany. But I've never been to Hamburg. I've never been uh, that far up north. Hamburg is north, right? Yeah. If you if you plan to ever go to, like, the Nordics um, from, like, via rail or, like, from Central Europe, Hamburg is, like, the point where you always end up going to. Like, you go from, like, anywhere in Central Europe to Hamburg, and then you go up through Denmark into Sweden. So if I ever went to Hamburg, it would probably be for that reason. Like, stopping through towards the Nordics. Because I go there quite a lot. I'm just gonna go slower on the stairs and stuff, just take my time. There's no reason to go through and try and be fast. Oof. 
Yo, MC fan, it's been fine so far today. We're just stag doing Berlin, nice. Nice, nice. Hey, you see there, when you hit the curb on the way down, it's fine. You usually won't bail. Yeah, the gimmick is that you have to do it in a freeway with a passenger. So the bike's a bit more weighty and it's a bit slower. And if you fall off, you fail. That's that's the that's the meme. Which really doesn't seem too bad. I don't think this will take me too long. That that one jump that I failed on the first time is like the only one that I'm concerned about. That may take me a couple of tries to figure it out. This one here. Because you got to get the right amount of speed. Yeah. Like, I had to pull back there to try and not hit it. But the, that's the difficult part, is, like, going over the ramp and then trying to not fall off. Like, I could maybe try hitting it, like, you know, this angle and try and go straight up the stairs. But, yeah, this is not easy because this wall is here that blocks you. First time Twitch alerts have failed you. I'm surprised that Twitch has not failed you yet. When I used Twitch notifications originally, they were so horrendous. And so many people that also use them have issues all the time. I'm surprised they, uh, they worked out well for you. I think the curb would fuck it up. Yeah, maybe. Then I might just have to hit it really slow and just get like the perfect amount of speed, you know? Today was one of the first times I got the notification on time. That's what I mean, yeah. Like, so many people, it's like, you know, it's rare if they work properly. Usually they come in super late, yeah. Yeah, D Discord is, like, pretty much instant, because it's all just webhooks, so, you know, there's no reason for them to have a delay. Twitter is obviously also good, because Twitter is just, you know... Twitter is literally just, um, like, manually. I, I manually tweet out so you can see it instantly. Yo, Riggy. <laughs> you're holding W. I hope, you're, uh, hope your run's going okay. I'm doing good, man. How are you? Hope you're having a good weekend. Uh, Kuzo, if you, want a, uh, if you want a link to the Discord, just ask the bot for it. Like, just say, hey, bot, can I have a link to the Discord? Instead of using any sort of command. Or it's down below if you scroll down underneath the stream you can uh there's like links to all my discord youtube twitter blah 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 it's all right good we'll take all right yeah hey. holding w for adams yeah slow down we're not we are on a time limit but the time limit is very generous so we're not really on a time limit <clears throat> i mean i i can understand that diva because it's very much like early 2000s kind of back when this music was really popular you know so i, I can i can relate to that but like there's a pretty good explanation there. Let's try and hit this this way. Ah, so you can actually land on this white platform. That's definitely the way to go, is jump across and land on here. I just landed like slightly off. Just go a bit slower and a bit more of an angle. And if I land on here, I should be okay. I should be able to slow down on time, I think. Or if not, I'll just try and go up the stairs right away. That's the that's the way to go. Even grind the wall, maybe. Yeah, uh, that's not the most absurd suggestion I've ever heard. Might not be easy to do straight from a landing, but you know, you never know, right? It's it's worth considering.
Do a 360 and land it there. Just, if we're going to do that, we'll just do like a backflip instead. <laughs> Give Steve the most insane footage you've ever seen. Like tray flipping the bike over, over the fucking ramps. Shoot the SMG. Yeah. Kill like a random pedestrian on the street while upside down. Mid flip. Real shit. Bollywood hours, yeah. Let's slow down, because that's not the best angle. Didn't like that one bit. Yo, Tom. Happy Saturday. Get off the bike, shoot down a plane with the RPG, and get back on the bike mid-jump. Holy. Giga Chad footage. That was almost bad. I almost went a bit too fast, though. Him battlefield, yeah. That would be a very battlefield escort. All right, there we go. That's it. Boom. Let's go. I think the only other one that I might struggle with is there's one where you land and there's a ramp right next to you, so you've got to be like, you've got to be very. You've got to land and immediately stop, because otherwise you'll go straight off. You can't hit it too fast. I'll show you which one I mean. It's this one. You see you go up. Ugh, and then you got to slow down. But if you hit it too fast, you'll go straight over. <laughs> All right, I think I'm good for bike health, honestly. This is the last jump. I think I'm good. Well, it's not the last jump yet, but... These are very easy. I don't expect to fall off on these. I think we're good. Didn't even disable the ladder. The thing is that if I fall down, I'm definitely going to fall off. So I've failed anyway, you know. All right, we're good. I, I don't see myself falling off here. As long as I just go slow and land on the flat platform, I should be all right. Yeah. Nice. You might fall off if you hit that... Um. If you fall off the what's it called? Like, if you land and hit that 45 degree slope, then you might fall off. But if you just go slow and hit the brakes, then all good. Not too bad. That was like, what, like four or five tries? There we go. Film studio is done. Unless there's anything else to it, but I don't think there is going to be. Hey, Becca, why would I be abused by dinosaur bites? He didn't make this mod. What? What is this? What is that fucking asset? Yeah, dinosaur bites didn't make this mod, in case that's what you meant. It's somebody else. Alright, we're done. Nice. Those are apparently the two hardest assets out the way. Malibu Club and... Uh... Malibu Club and Film Studios are apparently the worst ones, and they're all done, so. Okay, poll time. Kaufman or Printworks? Slash poll. Next asset. Kaufman, Cabs, or Printworks? One minute. Decide.
Was there a law reason for the dude being on the bike instead of Candy or Mercedes or some of the female pad? Why would Candy or Mercedes be on the bike when it's a it's a person recording footage? Why would uh, why would Mercedes or Candy be there? Oops. Is Paul finished? Almost. Kaufman, everybody wants Kaufman. Okay, 83%. Fair enough. Candy sucks at film filming anyway. Ha 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 ha. That might be the funniest thing you've ever said, Shikari. Let's go, Kaufman. We're legit like, we're like on the home stretch. Cause we really don't have, have that many missions left to go. We have three at Kaufman. We have two, three at Kaufman, two at Printworks. Cap the Collectors, KYFC. And that's it. Apart from auto side. So like maximum like 10 missions left. Absolute maximum. <laughs> I broke my bank account yesterday. Was that uh, ordering the PC stuff? My, my condolences to you. Pick up the VIP, you've got a minute. Okay, this is all normal. Was indeed, rip. Spending all the uh, all your new job paychecks, just immediately blow it on a PC. I respect it. Hey, to be fair, there are worse things to spend your money on. There are way worse things. Yeah, eleven missions. Oh, we're going to a different place. Are we parking up here? Okay. Yeah, if I skip naval engagement or I use a glitch or something to pass it, then yeah. This is my fair. Back off, asshole. This is, is my it... fair. Back off, asshole. There's gonna be a line of them. Yeah. This is my fair. Back off, asshole. Okay. This is my fair. Back off, asshole. Okay. This is my fair. Back off, asshole. Okay. So this is going to be like a fucking... Yeah, they're all coming after me as well, look. Yep, they're, they're all coming after me. <laughs> oh boy, okay. We need to deal with these guys first. Hopefully if I cut through here, most of them will die. Because usually they do. They'll flip. Yeah, at least one of them did. Okay, this guy's still going to the airport. Can we? They, they go really fast. We need to like pit maneuver this guy's ass. There we go. No, don't knock him back. Psych. I need to get him stuck. No, he just shoves through, dude. The guy's so strong. What the fuck? Come on, come on, come on, wait, 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 wait. Go, come on. Oh! <laughs> Help. I'm almost there. I'm here. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> Easy first try, noobs. Easy, noobs. Easy game. Let's go. Dude, we are flying through this. You got so jammy. That was pure skill. I have no idea what you're talking about. I legit outplayed my competition. Uh, I'd rather have a Sentinel than a Phoenix. Hello, where are we? Uh, we just finished VIP, so we're doing Kalpen Cabs. 
And we've just done one out of three missions. Yeah, just after VIP. Yeah, naval engagement, as soon as I get to a certain objective, my game just crashes. And I don't know if I can do much about that besides just like, you know, use like glitches or cheats or something to pass it, maybe like a mod menu or something to skip the mission. But the point of this playthrough is to do it like a, as casual as possible. Like, I'm, I'm showing you what the mod is like if you don't use any like major exploits or like massive glitches or cheats or mods or anything. Like, this is just the default mod with no extra modifications, no big glitches. Like, this is just playing through it as much as possible. Like, I don't, like, obviously other people can do whatever they want, but I don't agree personally with, like, using game-breaking glitches. Like, you know, getting 30k minigun by using the rampages and stuff right at the start. Like, it would just make it way too easy. I'd give it another try. I mean, I literally tried it several times, Tom. Like, you know, try number seven isn't going to be any different than try number six, you know? Alright. Five rounds taxis. I assume we can keep our vehicle. We've got 12 and a half minutes. Oh, wait. We, we installed a GPS. Okay. Well, where is the... Where's the GPS? Did I misread that? There are five railroad taxis in unknown locations. We installed a GPS to notify of near... Oh, so it's just when you get nearby. Okay. It, do I have to be in this car, though? Or can I change to a different car? I don't know if the game cares or not. But we've, we've just got to, yeah, like, find them on the map, I guess. You can swap cars? Okay. Good to know. Yeah, that explains the 12 minutes, yeah. Yeah, this is, this is not GPS. <laughs> yeah, no traffic. We can switch to, like, the police cheater, I guess. But yeah, I'm just gonna have to go around and find them all manually. But they could be hidden, like, anywhere. They're probably not just gonna be on the street driving around. They're probably gonna be, like, you know, in set locations. If I had to guess. And they'll probably be, like, probably quite well hidden. Find moving targets. I, I'm not convinced that they're going to be moving. They might be, but I don't know. If I was this developer, where, are I, where would I hide them? I'd hide them in, like, little alleyways and stuff. Like, weird locations. I, I'd hide them, like, here. You know, like, behind buildings and shit. Is where I would hide them. And I would put them in, like, one location each. So I'd put one near, like, the airport. One near the docks. And then, like, two on the other island. They're on roofs? They might be. This is probably going to take a while. Like, here, maybe? Like, I'm just trying to think of, like, the most, like, obscure locations. I thought I saw one, but this is just whatever this is. And also, I, I wonder how close you have to be before the GPS GPS kicks in. How many of these missions have tried something different so far? What do you mean by tried something different? Every mission tries something different because they're modified. Quite a lot of the missions are like rewritten entirely. So I guess all of them to answer your question. Maybe flying with heli makes it easier. My concern about using a helicopter is I don't know if I would... I would have to fly really low for them to load in, I think. I don't think the game would, would spot them from far enough away. But also, maybe the... Um... No, just look at that. Also, maybe, to your credit, maybe the, the GPS isn't, like, based on verticality, you know? Like, maybe I just need to fly about and I can, like, uncover them all. Okay, let's try a helicopter. I'm, I'm not really getting anywhere with a car, so...
<sighs> yeah, I hope they're not moving, because if they are, then this is going to be really difficult, because even if I know where they are, they could drive anywhere, you know? Oh, there's a rival taxi nearby. This guy? I guess so. So they are driving. Fuck. They are just driving about. Yeah. And that guy was just like on the main road. It's like, then it's, there's another one nearby. Where? The fact that it just tells you that there's one nearby and it doesn't say like, I thought I had GPS. Where's my GPS telling me where this fucking thing is? Can't hear it either. Yeah, even if you see them, there's no indication. Just that they're nearby. I guess they're down here then somewhere. But they could have turned anywhere. Like, I didn't see them. So th there's no way that I could know. They could be on any of these streets. I think Heli is definitely the way to go. Because you'd be able to see... Uh, you'd be able to see the... Um, You'd be able to see them when they're, like, you know, over buildings and stuff. Maybe we'll just get lucky and just find them all by complete chance, you know? Yeah, the taxis are all recolored. Is it just one island or the entire map? I have no idea that the game doesn't communicate that with you. I can only assume they're everywhere. Let's go and get a heli and find out. Yeah, ha having them move is going to make it so, like, there's no strategy, basically. It's just kind of fly around and hope you find them. Because they could drive anywhere. There's, there's no way to, like, map out their locations. At least in Espresso to go. Like, it's kind of poorly designed, but at least once you know where one is, you know. Right? And you... You can just go and get it the next time and l learn all the locations and then on the next try, drive straight to them. Okay, let's go and check the other islands. Let's check Prawn Island, check Starfish, and check the Eastern Island as well. Because I have a feeling there's going to be some over here. There's one right there, look. Hey, bud. Wait, no. Was that just a random taxi? It despawned. It didn't tell me one was nearby either. That was just a random taxi. Wow, okay. There's like no traffic, but then there was a taxi there. Yeah, okay. I got baited. Okay, there doesn't seem to be anything here. There is traffic here. There wasn't any on the other island, really. Your bones, welcome. Oh, right, I blew up two of them. Right, uh, of course. Yeah. Their corpses have despawned, so now there's traffic again. You too, Shikari. See you later. Thanks for hanging out. Okay, well, let's just see if we can spot one. What are we looking at? We're looking for taxis. We have to destroy five of them, and they're just randomly unmarked on the map. I've destroyed two so far. So we're just scouting areas, because they could be on, like, any island in theory. There's no there's no indication where they are. I don't see any on this island, though. Oh, there is one nearby. Is it there? Did I see it? I did. It's over there. The longer you take, the further they can be, too. Yeah. Uh, let's just land on this roof, I guess. Shoot it down. Okay, two more to go. Yeah, sounds fun. Yeah, it's just, <laughs> just, just luck. Just gotta drive around and hope you find them. But th now we know that they can be on any island, which is not great. Yeah, v VCN is definitely the way to go, 100%. 
Like, they, they don't even tell you, like... They don't even tell you how many are on each island as well. So, like, for all I could know, that was the only one on that island. The rest could be on the others. Like, I don't know. It communicates nothing with you. There's one there. I see it. I see you, you motherfucker. Let it drive past so it doesn't run me over. Oh no. Uh, that's a problem. Oh, it reversed away. Thank God. One more. Three minutes. We can do this. No! You fucking asshole. Awesome. Random spawns. Classic. Fuck you. They seem to be around main properties. Uh, I guess, yeah. Where would I even, like, I don't know where I'd even look now. Like, where haven't I checked? Like, airport? There's one down there. It's not a rival one, though. That's random. Even places you've checked a fair game. Yeah, like, it's just a guessing game. I genuinely have no idea. And I could just fly over the same thing, a few things. I can only assume, though, that, like, they're placed in certain areas. So, logically, it would be around this area. Like, one is placed in the airport. But, yeah, I don't know. There's no way to know. We're just going to fly over and hope we see one at this point. If we do, it's an easy first try. But we're just going to hope and pray. At least the heli does seem to trigger the GPS, the quote-unquote GPS. Just go and check downtown, I guess. And just hope that it triggers... wonder if it checks X and Y chords only. I'm not sure, but if I had to guess, I would say it looks like it does. Because I was so high. There's one nearby. Where? Yell at me if you see it. Scream at me. Where is this fucking thing? I have no idea where it is. Is it at the stadium? It's there. Is that it? That's a Kaufman, right? It's not here. It's somewhere else. Where? Tell me where. It's there. I saw it. It went around this corner. I know it did. Just land. I'm so confident. It's going to drive right past me. Right here. There it is. Fuck you! Easy noobs. Let's go. Outplayed, outsmarted. Fuck you, officer. I'm the best. Let's go, dude. First tried both. That that might be the only time I first tried two missions in a row. This late into the mod, that that is that is rare. Two back-to-back -back missions, first try. Let's go. If I first try all of Kalfman, you all owe me 500 pounds each. We just made a bet, you and I, right now, all of you. Imagine how long it would have taken you as a GPS with the sides of the cabbie. I would have just failed. Straight up, I would have just straight up failed. Alright. Let's see. Uh, one second, let me close down my dashboard. Let's go. Go and pick up Miss. Actually, I'll load the save so I don't have two stars. Doing this with two stars is probably not a smart idea. Can't do 500 pounds, but I'll let you start the noodle powder. Say less. Alright, let's go and pick her up. Do I need to be in this car? 
Yes. Replace the taxis with rhinos? Can you imagine? Fuck it up. Is the ice cream asset the same? The only difference for the ice cream asset is that you continually get more and more stars and you can't get rid of them. You guys want to know something, something funny about the ice cream asset that I actually read on GTA forums? So it's possible to completely softlock yourself out of that asset in this mod because the game doesn't check for like new progress every time you start and do the asset, right? So let's say for example, if you do 20 ice creams and you get four star wanted level, yeah? And then you get out of the, ca the car, it doesn't check that you would, you know, start again from scratch. So as soon as you get in the van again and restart the mission, you have zero deals done, but you instantly have four stars. So if you do 40 deals and then you get out and fail the mission and then you go to start again, you start the mission, instant six stars and it's just not beatable and the mod doesn't ever reset your progress so it is completely unbeatable if you do it once and then try and do it again out on a second attempt you literally have to first try it <laughs> finished mod by the way no bugs no major issues all right what are these guys like all the bros from vip it looks like And I have no fucking car. <laughs> okay. Alright. And there's a helicopter. Ow. This guy's just... <laughs> okay. Rip my first try... Try streak. Literally just get like run over within seconds. Okay. Um, how am I gonna deal with this? Yeah, the helicopter's trying to cut you up, I think, yeah. Hmm. How, how am I going to survive this? Can you put a vehicle in there? I doubt it. Could try it. My first instinct was to, um... My first instinct was to run towards, like, the speedrun strategy. But you won't make it there without dying. Rig the taxi and blow it up. Well, you can't, because you don't have control of the taxi. As soon as you hit the marker, you lose access to it. Let's put a Kaufman. Uh, it's not a Kaufman, a Benson. Just put it like here. If I can get to the wall, I'm good. You do have weapons, but you can't realistically kill all of the people that quick unless your aim is like unreal. Car. No, like you get killed so fucking fast. Holy shit. Fuck me like that. That's doable. But you've just got to you've just got to dodge. Because that guy ran me down so fast. Yeah, at least it didn't despawn. I think it's because I skipped the cutscene. Because they ran me over so fast. Usually they don't do that. But they were able to, like, they didn't stop. Like, usually they all pull up and stop. And then they drive. Um... They, they drive towards you from, like, a stop start. So it takes longer. 
But that then I skip the cutscene. It's usually not skippable. I swear it isn't. Yeah, jumping over a car isn't doable. If a car is coming towards you and you press jump, you just dive and they'll run you over and you die instantly. Then that was your taxi that ran you over. It might have been. Yeah. <laughs> Could well have been. Either way, I'll be a bit more vigilant. I'll, I'll try and dodge. Maybe park your cab backwards? Yeah, that's not a bad idea as well. Block the entrance with the Benson. That will just despawn 100%. If you park anything here, this will despawn. No doubt in my mind. And I'll park it a bit closer as well. Pretty sure I can park it like here and it'll be fine. It would have to be marked, yeah, and you can't mark in vehicles in this mod. So you play a replay, you just die instantly. No sign of Mercedes. Go. Let's go. We're in. This fucking helicopter. I'm stuck on it. I can't move. Well, I mean, if we stay like this for a minute and 45, we're good. <laughs> These guys are doing legit no damage to me. I was going to try and make an escape down to the west, but I don't think it's even necessary. Like, these guys won't destroy me in two minutes, I don't think, with these, with these tiny little notches. Oh shit, they might do. I'm actually smoking. Uh, this is bad. Never mind, I lied. I need to leave. Let me leave. I'm stuck. I legit can't move. This heli legit stun locks you. Go. Make the escape. That fucking helicopter. Okay, this isn't patched. But we just need to get out with our life intact. Go. No, Tommy, you dickhead. What the fuck? No way. No way. No way. Holy shit. What a fucking strategy. <laughs> oh my God. That is the nuttiest thing I've ever seen. That is crazy. <laughs> Is, I've done it. This, this is it. This is the this is the most incredible strategy that you've ever seen for this mission. You will never witness anyone outplay a mission this hard. <laughs> that is incredible. You should leave the helicopter before the zebra. Hell no. I want to see what happens. I'm curious. Ah! Hey, Hopefully I didn't land in the in the water. <laughs> Am I good? I'm good. Take out the leader cab. Okay. I want to chill. These guys still might be coming after me. Hold on. I can't really tell if they are. Yeah, I, I legit... I'm legit good. Okay, I don't think these guys are coming after me. But I'm going to go round anyway. Because you can go around to fight this guy. <sighs> Let's go. <laughs> what incredible fucking clip that was. That's awesome. Where is this guy? Alright, he's just chilling. Can I bang him through this fence? I don't remember if I can. Is he bulletproof? I don't have a lot of ammo for this. No, it's not. What's up, bro? Got a little gift for you. He survived that? What a boy. Chainsaw is that? It's true. Outplayed. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> what a clip! What a clip! <laughs> Holy shit, dude.
That was unreal. That's one of the craziest clips I've ever seen in this game. It's nuts. We're done. Just like that. Just print works left. Pretty much. Print works in the final two missions and then auto side. That's it. <laughs> Can you imagine in my guide? It's like, okay, how do you beat this mission? Okay, so it's really simple. So you need to have the helicopter <laughs> lining up in a certain way. And then you need to dive <laughs> as the helicopter comes underneath you. <laughs> Jesus. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Hardline might be done tonight. I don't know. My, it, it depends. Like, Because I could just go and beat the game right now, right? But the issue is that I want to do all the missions. Like, I want to try and do all side if I can. If the game allows me to. And that might take me, like, a whole day. Because that mission is, like, brutal. I don't know. We'll have to see. Good shit. Yeah, final mission is probably also really brutal. Like, intentionally so. Yeah, brutal as in might crash at any minute, yeah. Let's see what, uh, see what this is like. I forgot to mention that this is the taxi driver's first day on the job. Am I just dead? Am I straight up just dead? Yeah, th th there's no boats or anything. <laughs> Classic. Ben, you failed this mission due to a skill issue. I would have simply not taken the taxi. I would have had the foresight to not do that. Yo, RX, what's up? Yeah, if there was a boat, yeah, then that would have been funny. But the fact that you just die there is, is messed up. It's just messed up, man. All right, let's go. Um... PCJ, I guess, would make the most sense. Actually, from here, Heli is probably better. But to be honest, it probably would have been faster at this point to just drive across with a stallion. It really isn't that long of a drive. Whatever. Yeah, yeah, Bones, I, I feel exactly the same way. I'm impressed that on his first day on the job, he managed to get me there without drowning. That's very impressive. He used the cars as boat cheat? Whoa, that is quite a heinous accusation. Do you have any sources to back that up, buddy? Or are you just out here accusing anyone of anything? I'll see you in court, man. Sorry. Can you interview the mod crate after the playthrough? I don't know if they have like any way to contact them really. Apart from like GTA forums, which I refuse to communicate on. 
Ben defending hardlined in court was not on my bingo card. I'm not defending hardlined. I'm, I'm defending particularly that cab driver from slanderous accusations. Looks like we're going to the same place. It might just be a bit more of a tricky gunfight, if I had to guess. Not something you can just sprint through. But right, we'll see. Oh. Been spotted. Okay. Already getting leaded by M4s from that far away. Yeah, all right. Uh, I don't... You know what I... <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Okay, I need to prepare a little bit. I need some guns. I have, like, no sniper and no, um... No M4. I, I need some money. I need, to, I need to spend some money, even. Let's go quick ammunition trip. Yeah, back to the usual, 100% accurate, infinite range. Feels good to be back, you know? Just finished Hardline Part 6, there are spoilers. Yeah, this is like Part 11. So, if you don't want spoilers, I would recommend turning off the stream and going back to the VODs. But, welcome to the stream nonetheless. But yeah, if, if you're watching it exclusively through the archive, this uh, this is quite far ahead of that. Yeah, you especially don't want spoilers for the previous mission, yeah. Absolutely. VOD watchers skip 37 minutes, yeah. I really make it to your streams, feel nice to talk to you. You know, what you could do, is that some people do, is you could uh, just do like audio only, you know, so you can like listen to the stream, but not really understand, you know, not really spoil anything w with what's going on. All right, uh, shotgun we're fine, just want some M4. I could go and farm this, but I have so much money, doesn't really matter. May as well just buy it. Because we've bought all the assets now, so we have more than enough money. Oh, nice. Piece of J. I watch this because I don't care about spoilers. Real shit. My guess is that every spawn, Bobby, has some kind of thing like similar to Titan. Either shot. My guess is shotguns, because shotguns is the worst, so it's always going to be my guess. Shotguns, explosives, um, M60s, miniguns, anything like that. Flamethrowers, anything that will just make it miserable, you know? Uh, I'm currently doing uh, Spilling the Beans, Arahant. And yeah, like pretty much invincible bullet sponge enemies, yeah. No, we've got a couple of missions to go before we do the final one. Oh, final stream. Again, probably not. I don't think so. We've still got like 10 missions to go. Or like seven now, I think. And if I get stuck on any one of them, you know, that might be it for the entire stream. Like, I, I go into all of these missions assuming that I'm going to get stuck for an entire stream on it. Because then at least, you know, I can't be I can't feel hopeless if I'm expecting it you know every mission is going to be three hours yo me too thank you for the sub welcome
Sonny comes over and whips out some unused weapon and crashes the game. That would be pretty epic. Like Long Night, or at the ending. During the end, the game just crashes intentionally. Real shit. Loving the hardline content and ESA runs, so I thought I'd send you a sub. Well, thank you very much. It's very kind of you. All right, they're, they're, wow. They're, they're instant, I can't even drive past here. They instantly pop both of my tires and half of my health is gone. And I was driving like a hundred miles an hour there. Holy shit. Okay. Uh, let's go and pay and spray and let's go and heal, I guess. That is crazy output to hit me that hard from that far away. That's nuts. Oh, Rx, that gave it a tier three. Holy moly. That's my first ever tier three. You you are the only person to ever get the tier three benefits. How does that make you feel? Oh, what the fuck? This guy chased my ass down. Holy shit. I have been outdone. Yeah, sorry, Bones. Nothing personal, but you know, I'm in the big leagues now. These guys are fucking me up. Chill. Jesus. You're very welcome. I genuinely enjoy your content. I feel very honored. I feel very honored. So that makes two of us. Well, we're on also bit. I'm still being shot from over there. Okay, we need to we need to we need to leave. We we need to come back with another plan. Another pain spray, heal again, and come back for round two. Cause this is like a sniper only mission by the looks of it. Cause any kind of mid range is just not gonna work against these guys. They are they are laser accurate. Only streamer I'm paying for. I'm very stingy on who I spend money on. Well, then it's even more of an honor. Thank you. Get a Hellion shooting down from the roost nearby. I think I should be okay even on ground level as long as I just stay, you know, st keep my distance and just use snipers and stuff. I don't think a Hellion is necessary, but we'll see. It's just so annoying to have to fucking constantly go to different places and heal because it's just like so inconvenient to heal all the time. Whenever I hit, whenever I make like the tiniest mistake, I have to like drive across the map to rectify it. All right, I think I'll continue with the archive and we'll hopefully be in another stream. Good luck. Thank you. Uh, I hope you enjoy. I appreciate you stopping in regardless, even though you don't want spoilers and stuff. Hopefully, hopefully see you soon. Whoa! My five star meal has arrived. Burger King, because I'm lazy as fuck. Enjoy. For some reason, even though I ate like a big lunch at like two, Bear in mind, it's only like four o'clock now. I actually feel quite hungry. Even though I've I've definitely eaten more than enough. I, I should feel full, not hungry. Maybe I haven't drank enough water or something. I don't know. Burger King or McDonald's? Eh, they're both like okay. I would eat either of them. For me, KFC is, is the goated fast food choice. It is so good. But it also depends country to country as well. Like UK KFC is really good, but then in other European countries that I've been to, the KFC is like, okay. It's not, not amazing. Five guys. I've never had five guys. I don't think we have five guys here. Wendy's, same with Wendy's. I think there's actually a Wendy's that's opened up near me, but I've never been to it. 
But yeah, so Burger King and McDonald's are like, eh, they're okay. Like, 5 out of 10. KFC is a 10. Right, let's line up some shots and try and take these guys out. That guy needs to die. Uh, okay, this is a slight problem. There we go. I couldn't tell if I was hitting him or not. Yeah, I've never had US KFC. Yo, Travis, by the way, welcome. When is in Sheffield and Derby? Yeah, but that's like an hour away from me. UK KFC is really good. Uh, I've had Swedish KFC, Dutch KFC, German KFC, Danish KFC. And they were all like decent. But UK is always the best. Do they sell that pizza? Pizza with chicken as the dough at UK KFC locations? I've never heard of that, maybe? But that, that's news to me, I, I've never heard of that before. Okay, is there anybody else chilling? Anybody that I can like snipe? I don't think so. I don't see anyone. Does anyone see anyone? And anyone anyone spot anyone? Is that guy? I think I'm hitting him, yeah. Uh, excuse me. There's a guy there. I can see him coming at me. He had Molotovs, Jesus. I can see a guy up there as well. I think the Molotov guys are infinite. These are the in infinite guys. Yeah, they are. Okay, that's kind of a problem. We're gonna, we're gonna need to be fast. Because these guys are going to be molotoving me from for ages. Yeah. These guys are going to need to die quick. They take a lot of damage to... I want to try and bait this guy out with the M4 if I can. Or at least nade him or something. We got at least one of them. Jesus. Oh! I'm dead. I survived. The issue with only having a hundred total health is one Molotov and I'm fucking done. We're going right back across the map again. Fuck's sake. Right, off we go. We've, we've killed a couple of guys, so we are making progress, but not a lot of it. And the only issue is there's no real easy way up. We could try and fly up onto the boat and skip a lot of the spawns, but we might we might die. But you can fly all the way up to the top bit of the boat. That might be a way to go, because then we skip the infinite spawns with the Molotov guys, because they're only at base level. They're only a threat if you need to go to the bottom of the ship. I think that's a good shout. We'll get the VCN. Yo, blind KD, I'm glad you liked it. Very kind of you to say. Uh, let's heal and then we'll go and go and grab the VCN. Yeah, I'd never heard of the chicken pizza thing. Sounds interesting though, I'd, I'd try that. Alright, let's go. Pretty cool of ESA to upload your run first, my Oko is still in limbo. Did they upload my video already? Because I've uploaded it on my channel, Zola, so maybe that's what they're referring to. I'd be very surprised if ESA has uploaded it. Usually they take months, as seen by the fact that your run is already up. They already did, really? That is very surprising. Why? Let me check. Why are they uploading last event but not, but not other events? 
Yeah, say summer 23. Oh yeah, they did. They are for some reason. Why? But then they're not upload. They're still uploading summer videos. I guess they're doing like one of each, like one new, one old. That's weird. I don't know. Let's see what people are saying. Seven thousand views, no comments. Classic. All right, never mind. Let's go. <laughs> I suggest killing the M4 guards from afar before going there to boat in the heli. How many M4 guards are even left? Is the question. I've killed quite a few of them. Everyone just quoting Claude, Claude in the comments, yeah. Should be noted that I had to go onto the Twitch apps to see you went live an hour and a half after the fact. Never depend on Twitch time, timely Twitch notifications. Who was it before that was saying about the Twitch notifications and I said that they're awful? That there's there's the proof for you. They don't work. They're terrible. Don't use them. But Claude can type. Oh yeah, prove it. You got any evidence to back up that claim, Momo? Huh? Huh? You got, you got any fucking evidence for that, bud? All right, let's see if there's anyone that we haven't cleaned up yet. This tree doesn't make it the easiest thing to spot. There's a guy there. There's a guy there. I don't think they're going to shoot me. This guy I can kill. I can only assume there's like a guy here as well somewhere, but I can't see him. Or here? It's very hard to see. This is not the best angle. Let me get a different angle. Let's go like on top of here. This might be a good angle. There's a guy up there too. I really should pick the other sniper that actually has a crosshair. I should buy that. The PSG is kind of shit at long range. Which is weird to say for a sniper rifle, but it's, it's actually kind of crap at long range. It's powerful. But its accuracy is fucking shit. Alright, let's go. Let me get a weapon. Quick, just in case. I can hear somebody. Oh, there's a guy right there. Oh shit, okay. Quick! Get out! Ooh, okay. This guy needs to die. 100%. Okay, are we good? I think we're good. Four stars, okay. I don't like the sound of that. Let's see if we can get off of the heli. That would be ideal. Straight up. Oh! Uh, this is not good. Fail! Ah! <laughs> I'm dead. I'm alive. Uh, panic. Uh, hmm. Uh, I'm dead when I drop off this uh, thing, I think. I think I'm dead. Unless I do the jump technique. Huge. Ah! I can get that. No, it despawned. Fuck. The, the fucking car didn't despawn, but the other thing didn't. Okay, do not panic. In these situations, the best way to win is to not panic. Go to SSA. Get in a car. Get in this car. Just go. Fuck the armor. Just go. We are so, we are so good. We're, we're so good. This mission is literally unlosable right now. Check this. Yo, Zion, welcome. Don't mind me just beating this mission with 2 HP real quick. We're good. We're so good. So good. Never any doubt. 
Never any doubt. Victory lap. Too easy. Where's the Where's the competition? Where's the challenge? Legit the easiest mission I've ever done. Too easy. <laughs> Let's go. Easiest first try of my life. Me saying no, f knowing full well it wasn't first try. Easiest first try of my life. At a stilt house and a helicopter any second now. You can use a boat at the docks to get there. What is a stilt house? Oh, over here. Okay. Uh, we'll use Coast Guard, I guess. What is the blue marker at the boat, I guess? Why do I put blind in hashtags? Because I'm playing this as a blind playthrough and I'm also partially sighted. It's a double whammy. <sighs> Yo, style, yeah, I'm making good progress, yeah. I guess I'll go and see what's down here. Yeah, I already did a GTA 3 uh, Oko. Are all the people still here? Yeah, they are, like, like protecting the boat. Why would I take this boat? Why would I not just take a different boat? But, I mean, sure. Like, it's right here, so... Am I going to continue the San Andreas Oko? Yeah, I will do eventually. Yeah. Hello. Ow. Who is fucking shooting me? Uh, they drove away in a boat, I think. I wasn't really paying attention. Yeah, they've gone off in a boat, okay. Pretty sure we just straight up catch them here. But I don't know where their end destination is, it's the only thing. They, they might fail, I might fail any second. Oh, they're just leaving. Okay. New plan. Fuck! <laughs> I was like seconds away from getting them. Yeah, I don't know why I would go and take that jet max. That's just really slow, why would I do that? That's a, that's a terrible idea, I would just get a better boat that's way closer i don't know it's weird like i need all i need is a fast car like the cheetah or something and then i'll just go and get like the dinghy or something surely that's way faster or maybe even a heli no because i can't really land on those things that they're, they're too small yeah swam away is questionable but uh, what am I doing? I need police gear. Oh, I don't know why I went this way for the police gear. I drove past it like an idiot. Uh, we're probably better off going this, back this way. Dude, I, I'm not dissing the Jetmax. The Jetmax is great. What I'm dissing is the idea of fighting through... You know, we're on a timer, right? Why would I fight through a whole gang of people just to get a boat when I could just not do that and get a boat elsewhere? Are you just going to destroy the plates if you blow it up with a sniper? Well, my point is that I wouldn't have had to blow it up, try and blow it up with a sniper if I was just earlier to the mission, you know? Like, I can just not chase them and kill them before they even go get into the boat. Like, I almost did it being really slow with no, with no knowledge as to what to do. Surely with knowledge and prep, I can be way faster and, and get there before... They're even close to getting there, right? Shoot the pilot in the helicopter over you? I mean, maybe. No, you can't get an M60 from Phil's place. <laughs> they, there's melee weapons at uh, Phil's place, nothing else. Okay. Did they really despawn all the other boats? <laughs> is that what the meme is going to be? They despawned all other boats. 
And the only way to actually get one is to get a jet max. That would be very epic. Which one did I go to again? This one, right? Yeah. Ah. Wait, this might still work. Get out. Night? No. Okay. Not quite. Uh, I didn't know the belly was on 1 HP. <laughs> okay. That complicates things a little bit. Oh. I could kill the driver of the boat, like, right away. Or well, maybe they drive it, actually, so maybe that wouldn't work. Huh. Uh, the music is very soft because Pink Floyd songs are terrible on Spotify. They have, like, two minutes of silence and then they're really quiet. Yeah, I could I could blow up the boat, yeah. Let's see if it's bulletproof. It's not. Yeah, that's the move. Is rush down there and blow up the, uh, blow up the boat. So then they're just stranded. That's the move. Hopefully the game doesn't crash when I try and be smart. We'll see. But you never know this fucking game. Whenever I try and be smart, usually the game just crashes. So We'll see. What assets do I have left? Literally just the print works. I've done all the other ones. Malibu's done. Kalpman's done. Film Studios is done. And then the only other ones that have missions, well, missions. We did Boatyard, but that wasn't changed. Pole position's done. The only other one that we could do is Cherry Poppers, but it's barely changed at all. And it soft locks, so. There's no point in doing it, because it's not like actual missions. Yeah, Cherry Pop has soft locks, yeah. Right. How come? So the way it works is that... You get a scaling wanted level based on how many deals you've completed. But the mod, due to a bug doesn't um, doesn't reset your progress. So let's say, for example, if you deliver 40 and you get six stars on your first time doing it, and then you get out or you get arrested or something, the next time you start the mission, you'll just have six stars because the game thinks that you've done 40 deals when you haven't, and it's just over. Because doing cherry poppers with six stars is impossible. So if you do it anything except first try, you soft lock. The mission is completely impossible. But remember, this is a finished mod with no bugs, remember. There's no bugs. Skill issue. You soft locking, skill issue. Simply don't soft lock. Thanks for reading. Sounds like a realistic drug dealing. I mean, <laughs> kind of, yeah. Alright. There we go. Kill this person, this person. I wonder what they do now. Like, what, what do they do once they're off here? Like, they arrive. I think they just sit there. Okay. Yeah, I was gonna say maybe they just drown, but no, they, they just have no instructions, so they're just sat chilling, like. Okay. Hello. Sure. <laughs> Let's go with that. Sure. Five stars. Good shit. Let's go. Uh, where's the best place for me to de dock? I guess like Starfish, and then I'll have a guaranteed fast car with the Infernus to drive back. I feel like that would make the most sense. Yellow, 
Doc's near the pan spray? Why would I pan spray? <laughs> I think I'm good here. The other option is I could have gone the, to the dock right next to the print works and then just like run back, but I don't think that's necessary. There's a lot of cops here, though. I'm not suggesting you do it, it's just close to the print works. Oh, okay, fair enough, right. I thought you meant like explicitly because of pain spray. I was like, Rob, we've had this conversation. Officers? Hopefully KYFC isn't rub out. I have a strong feeling that KFC is uh, KFC. KYFC is gonna be one of the hardest missions. Like rub out to you hard. I, I have a really strong feeling that it's gonna be absolutely ridiculous. Alright, we're done. I wasn't too bad. Print work's done. That's all the assets done. Everything. Alright. We are making huge progress. Am I going to try and complete auto side before the last two missions? I think we we try and beat auto side. I, I think we do. Yeah. It it would be it would be wrong I think to finish this playthrough without auto side, because naval engagement. Fair enough. Like it's legitimately like not completable to my knowledge, without like mods or cheats or something. But um. But auto side, like, it might be doable. Like, I don't think that crash was consistent. Mafia is taxing your businesses. Okay. Along with some volunteers. Uh, naval engagement just crashes once I get to a certain bit, and it's seemingly unavoidable. Like, as soon as I get to a certain objective, my game just crashes. So, I, I don't know of a way to avoid it. We tried a bunch of different things, but every single time it would just crash. Like, I looked up other videos, and it doesn't seem to happen to everyone. Because some people have been able to get through, like, just fine, and have no issues. But I can't even get to the section that they get to. Do you know who is on the couch for the other GTA run at ESA? For the other GTA run implying not mine, that's me on the couch. Unless you're talking about for my run, in which case it's Joshimus. Okay. Yep. Hello, gents. Ow. Alright, I guess we're going to heal. <laughs> Just like that. Yeah, Nico Hart was on the couch, but he was the, like, donation reader slash host or whatever. It's like, kind of... Yeah, nearly insta killed for my efforts, yeah. Just about avoided it, but now I've got to drive all the way across to the other side of the map again to go and heal. Very epic. Uh, let's switch to the cheeser. Like, I have a lot of assets. I'm not really in trouble with these guys coming after me. I've got plenty of time to heal. My game crashed. Okay. <sighs> sure, man. They already taxed the boatyard, I'm pretty sure now. Uh, let's go and get a car. Rob on the couch next year. The thing is, is that they, um... You, they basically only do on-site commentary now. So if he's on-site, then sure, why not? But. Tommy, 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 I had Sonny on the phone. Okay, are you with me? 
Cars will not despawn him, maybe that's related. Yeah, I don't know. Ben, has there been a particular mission so far that was most fun or challenging in Hardline mod? Fun? Not really. Challenging? Probably the shootest? This can't make an encounter fun. Well, the mission isn't really fun. We just had fun with it, you know? Every asset has enemies wielding M4s. I mean, yeah, I, I get it, that. Not at all surprised. Yeah, I mean, at least until Titan Dreyas is finished, I don't know if we'll get any more Titan stuff at ESA, we'll see. Demolition Man? Demolition Man was okay, but it wasn't like, wasn't the most fun thing I've ever done, you know? Yeah, there's two missions, phone missions left after our side. Check out the check-in and loose ends. And I will, I have, I have the, like, as soon as I complete our side, I can do the other two right after. Dodo Dodo, I heard was satisfying for you to watch. Yes, it was satisfying to finish. Absolutely. Sorry, not watch, finish. Yes. Was it fun to play? Not really. I didn't really have that much fun playing it. Was it great when I finished though? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, there's a guy up here too. Is that a fucking Diaz model? Ow. I'm on one HP again because these guys have infinite range. Very cool. Just try and run these fuckers down. Fuck you. At least make some progress. Yep. Okay, now. If we could just heal in a decent place, we would be able to kill all these guys before we get to before they get to the boatyard every time, but. I don't think that this is going to be, that's going to be possible with 7 HP. And my only really ways of healing are all up north, I think. Oh, they're driving to a different asset anyway. Oh, yeah, because they already taxed the boatyard, yeah. Yo, Ben, I see you're ending this God Forsaken mod. I mean, not necessarily. I still have missions to do after this. Where are those guys even going? I guess Malibu or pole position? Yeah, Malibu. I don't know the order that they're going. Hello, Plan DL, welcome. Can't you just count them at the movies too? I can, in theory, count them at any asset, but the problem is, is that every asset is just littered with M4 guys who have infinite range and will kill you pretty much instantly. So I'd rather count them in between assets. Real question, does anyone even care if they tax your business? I mean, not really. Why would I care? Okay, I'm curious where they go now. Like, they leave the Malibu and then what? Where are they going? I can't even see them on the map. I think they're still at the Malibu. They're going north, I think. So they're probably going studio. Film studio. Yeah, I think they're coming towards me. So I can meet them there.
Never mind. They trolled me. Uh, so it's a vanilla roll today going for Kaufman. Yo, Caster, thanks for the thanks for the info. My BS has good look to you, Ben. Thank you. I'm gonna need it for auto side, I think. Not an ideal time. I go around the back without having issues with M4 guys, or are they all just like chilling here? I can already hear them shooting at me. Yep. Yep. This guy can shoot me right through the fucking thing, by the way. And even the those two guys have fucking infinite range, infinite damage. This is so annoying. Fucking hell. I never asked your sister out, man. I'm just having to get a car and everything every single time. Ugh, fucking hell. I left my wife weird. <laughs> Maybe like a heli is the move or something, I don't know, like. I don't know, man. I don't really have any ideas for this. Like, if they get to any of the assets, I'm just fucked. I'm gonna wait for them to leave the boatyard. And then just try and blow them up in between the boatyard and Malibu. Rather than actually going to the boatyard and trying to fight them, because that's just ridiculous. I'm just gonna like mega range it. Hey, yo, hey, yo, yo, move. Try and pick off anyone that I can. And then just like bang them out from range. They surely come this way, yeah? Okay. So now they're gonna go to the Malibu straight from the top. Which is not ideal. Um, I don't think I can stop them going to the Malibu. I can't get there quick enough, I don't think. Let's switch to the cheater. PCJ would be ideal, but I'm not going to get there in time. Maybe I can cut across starfish. They're already at taxi. What? They haven't. They didn't even go to Malibu. Okay. Well, they're not the same order then. Well, then I have no idea where they're gonna go. They could go Malibu next. I don't know. They're not even following the same order. Did they just pick randomly? Are they coming towards me? They are. Yep. Okay. Those guys have unbelievable health and ridiculous damage. Cool. I put a whole clip of PSG into them and they just ate it. <sighs> Fucking hell. I killed one of them, apparently. Or they killed themselves, I don't know which. But they're shooting me from that far away. Holy shit. Fucking range. Absolutely mental. Where about so they stop? There, that's perfect actually. Like how am I not killing them here? Like, make that make sense. Is that I, I can only assume their car is bulletproof. Oh, 
like... What am I supposed to do if they're in a bulletproof fucking car? Okay. Rockets? Where am I gonna get rockets from? Where do you suggest I get rockets from? Let me know. In a place where there's no pickups on the entire map. Let me know. Grenades? If I get within grenade range, I'm already dead. They will 100% kill me. Did you see how quickly they killed me before? I guess I have to snipe them once they get out the car. It's like the only way. Hello, El Panda. Phil Shop? Phil Shop doesn't give you RPG. It gives you a uh, thingy in this one. I think I fail now. Yep. Wow, this is ridiculous because they're literally in bulletproof vehicles. So that you have like two seconds in between them getting in and out. Yeah, Phil has melee weapons. Like, I don't know if I'm just, like, really overestimating people or not, but do you not think that if Phil had rockets, minigun, fucking flamethrower and shit, that I would go and buy it? Like, I, I don't understand the mentality of being like, oh, Ben, did you know this really basic vanilla feature that you can get really overpowered weapons? Why haven't you considered it yet? Like, I just don't get it. Like, do you not think that I've considered every possible thing like that? Or, or do you think that I'm, like, so horrendous at this game that I couldn't possibly know that after beating a mission, you get access to really overpowered weapons? Like, I don't get it. I really don't. I'm going to try a heli. It's, like, the only other way I can think of to kill these guys. Fly up and down and just try and pick them off from, like, a roof or something. People don't know if you did Phil or not yet. Sure. But even then, like, if I was able to get weapons from Phil, I would go and do it. The logical thing would be to do Phil as soon as possible. Why would I be crippling myself not having overpowered weapons if I could get them very easily by doing Phil? Like, you know, it's the same thing. Like, I feel like it's just common sense. But apparently it isn't. Yeah, that, that's what I think, Caster. Is you just have to, like, pick an asset and camp there and kill everyone. Raise hell, get six stars, pray to various gods that you don't get destroyed to get a tank. That's another thing that I've answered like a million times, Travis. I could get a tank, but it would make so many things extremely trivial, so why would I? Which would be best to camp? The, the earlier the better. Waiting at film studios, I have to wait for them to drive all the way around the map. But it depends if they, if they have a truly random order or not, or if they're just bugging out, I don't know. If the order is random, then there's no way to know. I'm hoping that I can kill these guys from here. This sniper is so fucking dog shit. Why does it not have a fucking scope? Or like a fucking eye thing that I can use. It's so annoying. I need to go and buy another sniper rifle. The PSG is fucking useless. Yeah, now they should go to what? Malibu? But they're probably not going to. They went to Kaufman last time.
Remote car bomb at Film Studio's entrance? That, it feels like so unnecessary, you know? Where are these guys going? They're going Malibu. Okay. I need to get to the Malibu first and kill them before they get there. Or not even necessarily kill them before they get there, but clear out the Malibu and then um, kill them as they get out. Even if they tax the Malibu, that's fine. Can always draw a dot on your monitor center, or I could just get another sniper rifle. This guy there, he's gonna blow up my LA straight up. Is there anyone else? There's people down there, but I don't give a fuck about that. Okay, let's hide. Because they're going to shoot me. Until they get out. What is this fucking hitbox? Okay. I'm just going to keep throwing these until they run into them. Tax to Malibu, I don't go for. Getting absolutely destroyed by fucking... There we go. Okay. Kaufman is where they're gonna go, I think. Same thing on Kaufman. We just gotta kill one more set of guys. But I don't know what those guys have. Like, these guys could have, like, miniguns for all I know. If they tax all your businesses, you fail. That's all that happens. You fail the mission. Right, where are they going? They're coming to me. Kaufman, let's go. Uh, let's cut across. Is there anyone on the roof of Kaufman? I don't think there is. I think there's just guys on the front. Yeah, there's just guys here. Okay. If they tax all of your assets, you fail. Otherwise, you're fine. They just tax them in order. <laughs> of course. Of course. Get out, pussies. I fucking dare you. How are they not dead? Where are they? Are they inside the building? Yeah, let's go. You know what? No fucking way my game crashed. I passed the mission and my game crashed. No way. <laughs> Unfucking believable. This mission is. This fucking mod is so finished. It's, it's like laughable. Absolutely fucking laughable. No save? What do, you, what do you mean, no save? Like, did you expect me to save the game in the three frames before I fucking passed the mission? You should have predicted that your game crashed, Ben. Of course. My bad. Like, this mod doesn't have autosave or anything. <sighs> Fuck's sake. F failing a mission due to bullshit is bad enough. Passing it and then not having to do it all over again anyway. That is so much worse. That is such a fucking kick in the teeth. Yeah, it doesn't know what I say. Why would it? That would be a good feature. Uh, I just might as well just go and go and get the heli straight away.
I'll make a save at the Helios spawn as well. Save me driving this way over and over again. Nice fun. Real hard mode would have no saves. Yeah, so then when your game crashes, you just lose all your progress. That would be so hard, dude. That's in vanilla arcs, I think. Hooking up a hard mode to a raise your same ga save game every time you fail would be pretty base though. Yeah. But you could cheese that. You could just like make a copy of the file, put it elsewhere, store it on the cloud, put it in Google Drive <laughs> every time you pass a mission so they can't wipe it. If I can kill any of these groups before they tax an asset and not after, I'll be in a much better position, but it's really hard to do because they're fast and I'm slow and shit. <laughs> Damn, Rob, that's fucked up. <laughs> if I can get like a lucky snipe here, I'm gaming. But it's impossible with this dog shit fucking sniper rifle. Like, look at that! Like, how am I not fucking shooting him? It's so ridiculous. Like, it's it's literally just this sniper fucking me over. But the bolt action one wouldn't be any better because, you know, it's just I can't spam it nearly as fast. The DPS is way lower, so I'd be able to hit my target, but I just shoot them and then they'd keep running anyway and tax it, you know? Okay. Let's see if they bug out or if they actually go to Malibu. No, they're going straight to Kaufman, I think. Oh, no? No, they're just taking the bridge. Okay. We might be able to get them before Malibu. Guy. Okay. I don't know family team. I'm hoping that was a fluke. Okay, there goes all my health. That's what I get for trying to get ahead of the curve, I guess. Why did that change weapons? I didn't press that button. Okay. Nice, we got them before the Malibu. Okay, this gives us time to heal. We have time. Because they're going to be a while. We can go and get armor at ammunition. At least I think. We could go pizza, but I, I think we have time. Because they're very far away. They're all the way on the other island. I think we have time to get armor, which will heal us more. And maybe even a pizza on the back. On the way back, even. Yeah, they're not even close to us right now. And give me this fucking sniper rifle as well. <laughs> Fuck the other one. Okay. Even if these guys tax Malibu, it's fine. We can heal. And go to film studios and wait for them. Or Kaufman or whatever. 
I'm not concerned about it. But we'll try. We'll try and get them on the way. But the last thing I want to do is die. But if I do pass, I'll immediately save as soon as I can. And then I'll, um... I'll save on a different slot so I don't potentially brick my other save that I have. Let's do the same thing. Just drop a load of fucking grenades at them. Bravo. Not risking it. Same thing. Save on any slot. Are we good? I think we're good. And we have a tank for our troubles. Let's go. I'm gonna save this. I I think this might come in useful. Where can I even store it though? Is my next question. I can store it at like Hyman Condo or maybe like maybe El Swanko Mansion. Yeah, true. Put it in the mansion. One. But then again, I put a hot ring racer at the mansion before, and it fucking despawned. So I don't really trust the mansion garage. To be honest. King of Hills, I never said that I'm gonna use it for like the rest of the game. I'm putting it there just in case I need it for anything. Why would I not? Let's just put it in like El Swanko. Why am I running over people constantly? Can you hear that? That's weird. The army guy, I guess. Will it fit in this garage? No, this garage is tiny. There's no way. Swanko, maybe. But that one is way too thin. Even then, this isn't that big. My concern is that if I drive it too close, I'm gonna despawn it. Hey, baby. Nice. That might be the best bet, maybe. Let's try it. I didn't want to park it there because I didn't want it to despawn. If you're wondering why I moved it out the way. I reckon this will fit. Nope. <laughs> Alright. Hyman Kondo it is. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, Hyman is the one with the helipad, yeah. Has big ass garages. I don't know how t how useful a tank would even be for auto side because you're so slow. There are quite a lot of enemies that move really fast. I feel like a PCJ would surely be better. Like, you're on a time limit. I'm not convinced a tank would get me anywhere. Anywhere quick. As soon as you get one of the people that's like... They're driving about around the city really fast, you're just screwed. 
So I know it's very generous, yeah, but that's not what I'm talking about. Like, if you started with the tank, you would kill like five people, and the sixth person is really fast. And then you would have to like, what, go and store the tank and then come back to it later? Like, I don't know. I feel like you'd be better off doing it normally and then just getting a, the tank. I'm gonna get busted. This cop is really bullshit spawn. Um, okay. Yeah, there we go. Save this. Yeah, I, I feel like you're way better off just doing, like, the mission normally with, like, a PCJ up until, like, maybe the final few people and then consider using a tank. Well, final mission. I guess we go and give auto side a go. Guess it's I guess it's that time. Hey Kathy, thank you for the kind words. I know about Shrine of Vice, I actually worked as a tester for them. Um, but then eventually they just stopped reaching out to me to test new stuff, so. But I heard that they came back recently. They, they launched a demo, like, years ago. I played through that. And then... They just, like, stopped developing it for years and then came back. Yeah. Are we on the final mission? Well, it depends. The final mission is here and ready to go. But I want to try and do auto side and do all the missions that I can. And then we're done. I am a CS dude, Swerber. I currently work as a, an IT engineer. I think this gives you a... Um, Gives you a vehicle, I think. Let's let's hope our side doesn't crash. Yeah, I might go and grab a quick snack because I'm fucking really hungry. I don't know why. I want to be right back. It's, it's putting me off. It's it's ruining my focus. BRB.
All right, let's bounce. You guys ready for auto slide? Mushroom. Let's go. Let's try right here and now. Let's go. Let's do it. Uh, bike. Bike is surely the move. Yo, James, welcome. Good luck, thank you. But I don't need it because I'm the best. So there's, I've been told that there are 30 people. Ish. 30 targets you've got to kill. And each of them get more ridiculous. They start off fairly innocuous. Like just some random fucking dudes. But they get pretty ridiculous. And the game can crash at any time. It happened to me several times already. I got like 10 people in and it crashed on me. But not only that, but also eventually you get a wanted level and you have that wanted level for the entire hour. So eventually, you know, you have like three stars and you've got to keep the three stars for the entire hour while you're going around killing all these people, which is like the most annoying shit ever. And obviously eventually these guys get more and more guns and there's more and more gimmicks to it. It's pretty awful. But we, we've got to do it, I think. It's going to be a slog. This is probably going to take like several days if I had to guess. Like I, I'm in for the long run. I don't know about you guys. But the, the one thing that I know is that the time limit is really generous. Especially if you're like, you know, decent at driving fast and whatnot. I'm pretty sure this guy is like bulletproof or something. Yeah, only wait to melee. <laughs> I did not know that that could kill you. You learn something new every day. Cool. <laughs> Insta kill by the fucking plane. I had no idea that could actually kill you. Awesome. And any mistake like that, an hour down the drain, try again. Luckily, obviously, we only did a few that time, so I only lost a few minutes. But if that happens right at the end, it's over. You gotta do all 30 all over again. <sighs> it's not gonna be a fun one, I don't think. There's a cop there. Okay. So now we've got that one star. We're going to keep that. So we need to be careful because we're not going to get rid of it. Unless we just let it expire over time, but that's probably not going to happen because we keep murdering people. True, James. Can't argue with that. Sounds like your average Twitch user experience, Pondio. First suit stream when? Whenever you buy me one. <laughs> Alright. Wait, this thing comes at you. He controls it after you. I didn't know he did that. That's really funny. I thought it just like drove around in a circle, but it like chases your ass down. <laughs> That's pretty cool, actually.
All right, this guy's kind of ass. He has a shotgun and will mess you up. So I'm going to snipe his ass from far away. Toy Story 2 moment. Yeah, legit. Okay. Guy has a lot of health. Starfish. The entire part on YouTube could probably just be this mission. Oh yeah, I mean, it's probably going to be. This is probably going to take a lot of hours. I would be very surprised if I got this today. I would be very happy if I did. But I'm going to say I'm in this for the long haul. What'd you get at this attempt? I mean, I would be over the moon if I did it all first try. That would be awesome, but is also very unlikely to happen. There we go, three stars. Now we have three stars for the entire rest of the ge the game of the mission. Can't get rid of it. And this guy in the mall is completely unmarked. You just have to find him. This is where it starts getting really epic. Three stars, unmarked people. Yep. There goes all of my health just then in that one collision. Epic. At any time, if I get ultra copped or the cops decide to troll me and kill me or anything, an hour down the drain, gotta do it again. It's because he's in an interior. Okay, smart guy. So then, according to your logic, he will then spawn in and his marker will show when I get into the interior, right? Let's see if you're right on this one. Huh, strange. Where is his marker? I thought it was because he's in an interior. Hmm, interesting. While I'm here, I'm just going to stock up on a load of shit. I don't think I need anything else. Now we're just gonna fucking find this guy. And he could be anywhere. He was upstairs last time, I think. He was like running around really fast. He was like over here, I think. Let me know if you spot him. I don't see him anywhere. So my nail fell off, but the waiter found it under the table. No, I haven't skipped naval engagement. Oh. You're a Cuban guy. Look how much fucking health he has. Jesus fucking Christ. Where is this next guy? Riding his bike in downtown. This is what I meant about the, the tank not being useful. When the people like riding bikes and stuff. I'm not convinced it's going to help you much. Yep. Driving towards me, I think. Here he is. He has fucking infinite health, apparently, as well. I even hit him. I saw the blood splatters. Okay. Oh. That was almost a fail. Almost knocked me over. And this is what it's going to be for the rest of it. Driving around hoping the cops don't kill me in some unfortunate circumstance.
Yo, while we're here, why not? <clears throat> Pain spray does nothing. Doesn't work. Doesn't work in any mission. Is the guy with the car? It is, yeah. Oops. That was an unfortunate time to pause. I didn't really have time to react. Uh, I kind of want to get a cheater for this guy. Because me being on a car, I can't really do anything against him. He'll just outrun me and I can't crash into him or anything. So I'm going to get the police cheater. That was a great random traffic spawn there. Almost fucked me over. If it's true that I have a ton of time, then I really should take my time to prep for each individual guy. Yo 2D, thanks for the raid, man. Hope you had a good stream. Try shooting his car from afar so he doesn't spot you. That might be tricky to do though. Getting out and shooting him from afar is like kind of a death sentence with all the cops waiting around me. different car. I thought the fucking cop car was him because it came around the corner at the time when he was supposed to, but nope, just a random cop. Epic. Oh, this guy just killed himself. Okay, fair enough. Gang fight in Lol Havana. Okay, let's go and heal to be safe. We'd even get like a heli or something. Or a PCJ. No, PCJ is risky with three stars. I'm going to stick with the Cheetah. PCJ is faster, but way riskier. And why play risky if we've got a lot of time? Really? Awesome. Thanks, guys. Yeah, this is all I was like. So we can pay and spray. It doesn't remove our wanted level, but it does fix your car. At least in other missions it does. So. Yo, Scissor, welcome. Yeah, Kit Kats, that's what I'm thinking. I don't know if they're even really going to help me. Where? How did I, How did my tires pop there? There was nothing there. Fucking invisible spike strip. There's so many of those in this mod, it's crazy. So many bug spike strips. You, you see them so rarely in vanilla, but in this they're fucking everywhere. It's unreal. Look, like, you can clearly see there's a spike strip there because all the cops are hitting it, but they're just not- it, they don't actually exist, you can't see them. Right, this guy's in a gang fight, right? Can I snipe his ass? Yeah, they all have M4s and shit, so... This guy's fucking in for the health, I guess. How's that? Seven sniper bullets? Normal? Alright, you guys can fuck off. Well, it seems to be random, bro. Like, it's not every spike strip is invisible. You can see quite a few of them. Where is this guy? I have legit no clue where this guy is. No, it's not every time. It just seems to be bugged.
Like, maybe I could snipe this guy from a roof somewhere. Maybe this is like a terrible idea. Luigi Green and Mario Red. Interesting names. Everybody's been marked so far except the person in the mall. Losing my door is not great. I don't like that. I don't like losing my tires either. I want a pain spray to get my door back because I don't want to get busted by getting screwed by losing my door. Yeah, that cop, that's a scripted spawn off that roof. If you approach that pain spray, he will always do that. These cops are throwing so many spike strips that I'm legit convinced that my game is going to just eventually crash because of, um, what's it called? Ah, it's one of these. Yep. Cool. This guy's gonna kill me. <laughs> infinite range, M4, infinite accuracy, classic. Shot, shot with a sniper rifle, just eats it. Does not give a fuck. Yep. Try and go in with a car, instantly blows up the car. Try and snipe from range, insta kills you from range. Just completely unwinnable scenario. Uh, where the fuck is my save? Oh, cut the clock sound. It's on. <laughs> not headshotable or limable? That's not how it works when they have 800 million health. You can still crit them, but it's not like SA where you can just shoot everybody one bullet in the head. That's not a thing in this game. It's luck whether you crit them or not. By shooting them in the head or the legs or whatever. It's complete luck. <laughs> Alright, time to do that all again. You guys ready? It's really fun. I love doing the same 10 minutes of gameplay over and over again. With different results. It's very epic. How many targets? I've been told that there are 30 targets. So I don't know how many I killed there, but I was maybe like, I don't know, like a third of the way through. Driver. We're killing bank robbers prepping for heist. I don't know why we're killing these people. But the heist narratively for Tommy is done. We did Malibu ages ago. I don't know what their purpose is. Is they're doing a heist? I don't fucking know. I don't really care. <laughs> I'm just trying to get through this as quickly as I can. I killed 13. We got almost halfway. <laughs> Not bad. <laughs> Is the mod also still being a bitch or have they said how these missions are considered consistent? Uh, the mod has just completely abandoned this. They haven't updated it in forever. 
like months. Ever since they released version 1.4 and called everybody whingers, they just haven't said anything else. So, and any complaints you have now or crash reports are just skill issue, your shit, the mod's perfect, end of story. So if you have any legitimate crash complaints like me and naval engagement, they're not getting patched. <laughs> so this is what this is what you get. If you can't progress, sorry. Skill issue. Uh let's go across the things. Oh wait no, this guy's on Starfish, isn't he? Yeah, I'm trying. Just patch yourself the mod. The thing is, is reading other people's incompetent code, even if you're a great coder, is like difficult to fix other people's shit, you know? Like, unless it's commented really well to describe what does what, which is very unlikely in solo projects, because why would you comment your code if you're doing solo? Like, it's good practice, but a lot of people don't. So, yeah, like... You would have to rewrite a load of it from scratch, most likely, to fix a lot of these issues. And that would take really long and just isn't worth the effort. Yep. Will I play Black Mesa? I don't know. I might play it like way later on, but I want to play the original Half-Life. I don't see the point in playing a mod for my first time playing it. And I don't I also don't really see the point in playing Black Mesa afterwards, because I already know what happens and stuff, you know? Like I'd just be playing the same game twice back to back. Doesn't sound very fun. This is a really cool roadblock. I could definitely see these guys. I'm trying not to get four stars, because if I kill too many cops, I'll be stuck at perma four stars. No, I know I played Half-Life before. I played a little bit of the first one, like an hour or so, but I'm gonna restart it on stream. Cause there's no point in like jumping in an hour in, you know. Yeah, I I've heard that Black Mesa is really good. I just have no reason to play it right now. Yeah, I didn't have a PC growing up when Half-Life was big, so I haven't played any of them. Okay, dude. You fucking troll. I don't know why I went this way anyway. It's way more efficient to stay split one over. Let's go and get armor and stuff. Get down, man. I literally have these missions and the final missions to go. That's it, Cafe. I'm right at the end. I've done 95% of the game at this point. Uh, let's see if this guy was up here again, same place. Yeah, he's right there. But. Fuck's sake. He's very difficult to shoot when he's jumping around like a fucking idiot. What came after Printworks? I'm doing Autoside. That's it. I've been doing Autoside for a while now. Because it is an extremely unfair mission. So you haven't missed anything. You planning on purchasing a PS, uh, PlayStation or Xbox when GTA 6 comes out? Yeah, if GTA 6 comes out on console only, I'll buy a console for it. To cover the game. Would I usually know? But like as a streamer, I'm gonna make, by, by covering GTA 6, I will make back the purchase of the PlayStation and the game plus more. So it makes sense for me to, makes sense for me to buy it even if I wouldn't use the console for anything else really. So. I'll definitely buy like a PS5 or whatever. 
And by that time, they'll probably be way cheaper as well. They're already pretty cheap. They're only like 200 quid here. And yeah, I could always sell it back. That's true. But it, depending on how much I spend on it, I might not. I don't know. Like, if a new, new console comes out and I end up spending like 500 plus on it, then I'll probably sell it back. But if I only spend 200 quid on a used PS5, then there's no point in selling it back. Thanks, guys. Didn't want to use my bike anyway. Officers. My aim is atrocious. They pop my tire. No, they pop their own tires. I think. There goes both my tires, though. Another invisible strip, I think. Hope everyone's counting the amount that I see. Good morning, Yost. Uh, hmm. What do I even want here? I guess I'll run down and get a cop car. Despawn these guys. This is a way longer run than I thought. Maybe this wasn't the smartest idea. Ish. And it's fucking rock to you, serious. Fuck you. Yeah. Alright, I'll go and get the, uh... I'll go and get the PCJ and then we'll go and get the Cheetah from there, I guess. GTA 6 on PC is not happening for a long time. It's always the same. They did the exact same thing with GTA 5 as well. It's a tale as old as time. So, if you want to play it, play it, it's going to be on console. Which I fucking hate, because I hate playing with controllers. I would much rather play it on mouse and keyboard. Controllers do my fucking head in. They're so inaccurate. I'm so bad with them. As well. Like, it's not a good combination. The co they are in inaccurate as well, but then also I'm shit using them. So it's like a double whammy of shit, you know? Got his ass. Got my own tires popped for it, but... You can play with mouse and keyboard. People sell online modified consoles or keyboard and mouse support thingy. I mean, maybe I'll look into it, like potentially using keyboard and mouse on a PS5, but it probably isn't very good, nor will it be supported. So yeah, like, it's probably going to be just as bad as using a controller. Like, if I want to play on mouse and keyboard, I want to play properly on mouse and keyboard, you know? Like, on a PC port with proper mouse, like, support and everything. Like, yeah, not just like an emulated analog stick. That sounds fucking awful. Stray bullets constantly fucking popping my tires is so annoying. Bro, I'll just grab a new car. PS5 supports mouse and keyboard. No way! Unfucking real. 
course my door was open and that guy just fucking bounces through. Couldn't see a thing, saw the cop. Last second, too late. There you go, 10 minutes down the drain. Gotta do it all again, guys. <sighs> fucking hell. Isn't having three stars for an hour straight just so fun and interesting? I feel so challenged right now. Rock up six stars and get a tank. If I had a pound for every single time somebody said that, I would legit be a fucking millionaire during this playthrough, holy shit. Drinking game, drink any time a vehicle I'm driving gets a tire pop. You would be dead within five minutes, I think. Uh, wrong thing. No! Okay. That's gonna kill me again. Okay, we're good. We're good. Never any doubt. Almost skill issue. I'm gonna head out to the movies for Dune 2. You're actually going to watch that? Yikes. My condolences. <laughs> See you later. Thanks for hanging out. Doing part one was great. You are trolling. That is such a low quality bait. If I've ever seen one. Low quality bait. I like the first one. Low quality bait. Fuck, I need to get starfish. I like it really. Terrible bait. Not falling for that. Try harder. Try harder. Three hour film where literally nothing happens because it's all setting up for the second one. Nah, there's no way. You, you've got to be trolling. If you, you walk in and sit there and consume that, are you like, mmm, more, please? You're trolling. You're trolling. There's no way. People are not allowed to like whatever they want. You should only like what I like. Lord of the Rings exists? That's one hell of a combination. Lord of the Rings fans are not going to like that one. <laughs> oh, fuck. I'm dead. It's over. GG. I'm actually dead. I don't like this at all. Uh, quick. While they're diving. Go. We're good. Never any doubt. Uh, I don't need to go to pizza because I can just go to the mall and just both the and we're going there anyway so let's go east this time instead of going west like a fucking idiot
This mission is so hard to read chat. I legit, like, you, you can't look for more than two seconds at your chat. Otherwise, like, a random cop just fucks you up. It's scary. Yo, Mr. Roboto, thanks, man. Just finished watching yesterday's sesh. It was a good sesh. Oh, hello. We're in an interesting location. I guess because I was a bit faster this time? I don't know. I don't know if he spawns randomly or on a fixed path or what. I have legit no idea. Just don't read chat for the remaining 55 minutes. True. True and real. Where am I going now? Oh yeah, downtown. Uh, this way. Put chat on text to speech and don't read it. Like those uh, Nico video ones, like the GTA Tasses and stuff. That literally, like every time somebody types, it plays text to speech, and it also shows it like scrolling over the screen. So at some points, the chat is legit unreadable because it's just spammed with text. You can't like watch the video at all. I love unwatchable videos. <laughs> it's so epic. Hello, dog. Yo, that fucking TikTok text to speech thing that Josh was doing, where it was like singing the lines, was legit really funny. I want to do a DYON with that on. I should uh, speak to whoever makes it Parrick, I think. And, uh, and ask for that version. Because I don't think it's public. I couldn't find it on GitHub. This guy's in a super weird place. Uh, sure. It is public? I swear I couldn't find it on the Rainbow Miser GitHub. Unless it's just in a different place, but... Okay, well, that wasn't really fair. Don't kill me, please. Okay. Give me this. Uh, they updated like two, three days ago. Okay, so when I looked for it, it wasn't public, but now it is. Okay. Yo, the real Geo dude. Thank you for the two months, tier one. Thank you. Very kind of you. Oh. Uh, I think that might have been my tire that just went. Can you guys fuck off? Okay, well, I'm just getting camped, so I guess I'm not going to take this PCJ. Guess we're going to the helicopter or what? Like, Unless I can despawn these guys and get away, but I, I, I legit think my fucking tires are gone. No, they're not. Okay, good. Okay. That's fun and interactive. And once again, they park two cars right on top of my fucking PCJ. Meaning that I can't access it again. Oh my fucking god, this is ridiculous. <laughs> like, what in the fuck is going on? Give me this. Fucking hell. Unbelievable. Who am I even on now? Who is this guy? This guy- this is the guy in the car, isn't it? I'm switching. Yeah, it is. He- this guy went all the way from Little Haiti. All the way to here. Cause I was too busy getting stunlocked by the cops. He drove all the way up here from Little Haiti. God damn. Free. Outplayed. <laughs> Officers. <laughs> the yes, SA driving school paid off with that pit maneuver. I fucked him up. That was clean.
The police in this mod, I'm pretty confident, have been changed. They're, they're fucking ruthless in this mod. Like, they'll just straight up just try and run you over most of the time. Which they never do in vanilla. Like, they will just kamikaze your ass. They just don't give a fuck. Alright. We'll switch cars after this. Excuse me. Thanks, Kathy. I'll wear that badge with pride. Yo, for Sir Featherstone, what's up? Welcome. Uh, we're just trying to do arguably the hardest mission in the game. We've been doing it for a little while. With uh, not the best success so far. Oh shit, I missed my turn. How did you not get busted there? What do you mean? I wasn't really paying attention, but I don't think there's anyone in with any chance of busting me, right? And the longest, yeah. Okay. Let's uh let's not reverse out of this road. Let's let's floor it out. There we go. Would you rather do rub out five times or outside twice? Definitely rub out five times, because rub out I can do it. You know, I, I know what I'm doing. That cop was crouched by the passenger side door. Oh, I, I legit didn't even see him, so I have no idea. I guess I just got lucky, which I'll take. We definitely might be better off heli sniping this person, but I'm not. I'm not sure. Okay, this is where we got to last time. This is 13 or 14 or whatever. Yeah, they can bust you at the passenger side, yeah. The only thing that I can think of is he might have been set to, like, be fleeing. And then they, they don't bust you because they, they're only smart enough to do, like, one thing at once, you know. I don't know. Okay, we need to really keep our distance on these guys. Actually, we're better off probably sat on here. Then the cops can't just chill with us. I knocked my door off. I need to keep that in mind. That's bad. I didn't buy any more snipers. I should have done. Okay. I really should have bought more sniper. I'm going to do that at some point. I think it'll be quite useful. I don't like this cop running at me. Joyriding in Washington. Okay. I really want to switch vehicles if I can. Um, let's check this car park. That might be something good. Don't want a PCJ. It's too risky. They spotted you. Oh, did they? Oh, okay. I didn't expect them to come to me. Uh, these cars are all really shit. I don't want these. Huh. Okay, they're driving to the other island. How do I take these guys out without getting wrecked? Here, a PSG would have been really good. Bribes don't work, there are no bribes. All pickups have been removed. Again, if they did, I would be using them. Let me make that very clear. He's got the driving kind of wacky. But the problem is the guy's shooting on top. He, he's my concern. Yeah, the pain spray doesn't work either. It repairs your car, but it doesn't get rid of you on it long. As you can see, it just comes back right away. Ow. I generally don't know how to deal with this guy without just getting wrecked. I can't get close to him because it'll just blow up my car. 
I can't really shoot him outside of the car because he'll just kill me. I just kind of got to, like, hope he drives towards me and try and snipe him as he goes past, I guess. Like, I don't know. Just get a tank. I mean, I could. But then he's so fast, how am I going to catch him? It would be the same thing. It's just, like, get lucky and hope he drives towards you. Of course, they pop my tire as well. Just get a hunter. Instant first bullet tire pop. It's just so fucking bullshit. Like, the three stars is legit the hardest thing about this. Because you just get your tires po constantly randomly popped. First fucking bullet. Instantly pop tire. Bike becomes dog shit. Guess we're getting a heli. Just pick up all the hidden packages that don't exist on the map. Why didn't I think of that? Okay, they're gonna come around this way. Maybe get a good snipe on them from here. They drive so fast. I don't know what to do. I don't know what the safest way to deal with these guys is. Legit no idea. Jesus fucking Christ. Like, they have so much range. It's crazy. Oh, they died. I think. I think they drowned. Did they? Are they, are they, are they not dead? They are, they're dead. Okay. Oh my god, what the fuck is that heli doing there, man? Oh, for fuck's sake. Just sat right fucking above me, of course. <sighs> so fucking annoying. Get the fuck off that bike. Crazy, man. And it's raining, of course, even better. Taking a taxi in Vice Point, okay. Then we definitely take a heli. We're going to the other island anyway. Is there a speed limit for the NPCs in this game? No. How many kills are complete? I think I'm like halfway. I think I've done like 15 out of 30. I predict a crash in four minutes. If that happens, you're getting banned, just so you know. Everyone write that down. Are they just chilling there? Oh, they spotted me. And of course they have Unreal M4s again. It's just the same thing back to back. The same fucking guy in a really fast vehicle that spots you from miles away and has an M4 coming off the roof. It's like, it's just the same fucking thing. Like now what am I supposed to do? <laughs> like, the only difference is this time, there's two of them. That's it, that's the only difference. No sparrow? What the fuck would I use a sparrow for? It's just this, but slower. Like... How many have I killed so far? Bro, I legit answered that question 10 seconds ago. I'm halfway through. This guy's is so fast. But they meant Sea Sparrow? I mean, if there's no packages, how am I going to get a Sea Sparrow? Seven, seven, 
I got one. Guess that's the strat. It's just park nearby and hope you fucking leather them before they leather, leather you. Flying a helicopter in Vice Point. Wait, like here? <laughs> what the fuck? How am I supposed to take his ass down, dude? He's like flying over the water. Oh my god, helicopter. Fuck off. They take down a heli the same way you take down anything else, I guess. Just park near it when you're in range and gun it down for a bit, move on, come back, you know? Let's stock up a bit. Fucking hell. Such a drag of a mission. Uh, guess I go and get the VCN since I'm right nearby. It's a bit faster and a bit more health. I think four minutes have passed. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, VCN is the fastest tally in the game. Alright, I'll just try and see if we can get an angle on this guy. How was the rest of the film studios? Eh, it was fine. Not really anything to report. Didn't take me long at all. Martha Smokeshot was second try. G Spotlight was like fifth try, I think. Okay, so does this guy fly in a circle or what? Like, can I park on here maybe? No, he's just flying off miles away. Yeah, of course he's faster, yeah. Like, does he just fly in a loop or does he fly randomly? Like, look how fast he is. And I'm supposed to kill this guy. How? What was G-Spot like? Like, it was fine. You had to do it on a freeway and you couldn't fall off. Nowhere to tell with the heli. If I try and collide with this heli, I'll just die. That's the only thing that will happen is I will drop dead. I think he chills on checkpoints. He like a he like AFKs for a bit. Yeah, he just flies in a circle. Okay. I guess we just wait for him then. At, at the hairpin, because the hairpin is where he stops for a while. The only issue is there's no building here. So I'll have to shit him from the ground, which isn't ideal because the cops. Here, I guess. I'm gonna keep the blade spinning so I can make a quick getaway if I need to. Please tell I just threw, flew right through the building. Just did not go up far. In hindsight, this wasn't the best location. He fucking he goes right on top of me, so I couldn't see him. Fuck's sake. Alright. Wait for another rotation and we'll run away a bit. 
This guy's such a waste of time, though. Like, if I run out of time at the end of this, I'm gonna be so upset. You can't get up to the roof of that building, it's too tall. And now I'm getting fucked by the heli, so I can't do anything. Yep. I'm gonna miss this cycle now, because the heli's trolling me. Yep. This is fucked. How did these guys get in here? Got him. Fuck you. How are you even there? Another player is roaming in downtown. Okay. Another player. Just chilling in an extremely fast vehicle, of course. The classic. What? Wanted cheat for his car explosion cheats. What? He's just using cheats. Oh my fucking god. Are these permanent? <sighs> okay, dude. And I'm dead. I'm, it's over. Double speed for the rest of this is going to be, like, legit impossible. Because I basically need to double my reaction times. Otherwise, I'm fucked. Yeah, like, is he just going to big bang me at some point? Car explosion cheat? Like, what the fuck? Car explosion cheat. Wow, that is so cheap that he can just insta kill you like that. So fucking cheap. Insane. I need some better weapons. What a lovely spawn that is. That's fair. Are you fucking kidding me? Where? Where was he? How did I get busted? There's nobody fucking there. The second I get in a vehicle, fucking car explosion sheet, into instantly busted. Fuck off. What a joke of a mission, playing half an hour just to get screwed like that. <laughs> what a fucking joke. Unfucking believable. Yeah, every mission's beatable first try, by the way, if you're good enough. If you're good enough, you can avoid getting screwed by four stars for an hour straight. It's skill whether you get busted or not. Obviously. Like, if those cheats are permanent, that's fucking crazy. If for the rest of the playthrough you have to play with double speed... And shit like that. For the rest of the mission, you have to play with double speed. So you just lose half your time. That's so crazy. How far along was I? I don't know. I'm not counting. The game doesn't tell you. Like, feel free to count the people and tell me how many I'd done. I'm pretty sure I had less than 10 left. But it's impossible to say unless you count them. Twenty-three. There you go. Legit only had a couple left. 
But yeah, there is insanely long, the hour long time limit then. Because I had like, what, like half an hour left? And I'd done like almost all of them. So yeah, you really can stall as long as you need if it means surviving. Like you don't need to take any risks at all. Obviously that only gets you so far because four stars are, sometimes you can just get screwed. There's, an, there's not a lot of times, but a lot of times you can't do anything about it with four stars, but. Yeah, it's a survival exercise, yeah. Maybe stole the stars. What? How? The second I kill this guy, I get three stars. How can I possibly stall it? I need to kill this guy to progress. I can't just not kill him. There's 30 targets, Momo, and as you can see, you have heavy cops for the entire hour. Yep, closed pickups don't do anything. They're, they're not removed, they just don't do anything. Yep, this is fun and interesting. Yep, I'm engaged. This this is enthralling gameplay. Asking him throwing a strip at me. I remember to stock up the first time. not here this time. I'm avoiding using tanks unless necessary because it's just boring. To walk up fucking point blank and take away half my health instantly. Oh, 
Oh mein Gott, Müll. I already have a tank from Cap the Collector Bush. I have it stored in a garage. But I couldn't think of anything more boring than slowly driving through this mission with a tank. I couldn't think of anything more boring if I tried. Like, this is awful, but at least I move fast and, you know, driving is a little bit fun. Being able to drive around fast and stuff. Just holding W with a tank. So boring. I'm good. I'd rather not bother. Wish you won't be able to get the heli. You never know. The tank cannon does lock on. You might be able to kill the heli with it. If you get a good enough angle on it. Yeah, you might also lose it to the guy who uses cheats, yeah. That's a good point. That is a fair point. Oh, he stayed on the bike. I thought he fell off. This guy trolling me. Die, please. Die, please. <sighs> oh my fucking god. Jesus fucking Christ. Is he in Little Hates here or is he still in downtown? Oh, Jake can't see him. I think he's near Phil's. I think I caught him finding a cop car last time. Yep. I can move, guys. I have control of my character. You fucking idiot. Dude, he's like 1 HP. I think I can pain spray this like you can in Titan. I assume not, but it's worth a try. No. I almost got busted for that. That would have been fucking embarrassing. <sighs> Hello, Age was here. I've seen full walkthrough of this mod with all missions. Also, this mission is actually 49 minute old. My brain rotted a little bit trying to understand that message. So true, bestie. That's what I'm saying. Seventeen, Central, Telavana. 
Those guys just fucking doing a bit of trolling, parking up there. I've seen the mission complete text for this mission. What are all these weird random flexes in my chat? Like, what do you, what do you want me to say to that? Okay, good for you. Congratulations. Some people on GTA forums saying that after you kill the guy who cheats in this mission, it can soft lock your game. Awesome. If, if that happens, if, if I get, if I kill that guy, 20 fucking guys in and I soft lock, I'm considering that a win. I've done everything the game asked me to do. I didn't fail the mission. I'm at the end of the progression strand within the mission. I win. There goes my tire. I was joking. Where was the punchline there? Like, what's the joke? Uh, hello. Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> I, I heard the heli, but I was like, oh, I'm only a few shots from getting it, so I'll, I'll just kill this guy. I didn't expect there to be 700 fucking dudes that waiting for me right next to me. Christ. Uh, What's this next guy? Oh yeah, the joyriders, right. This is where it becomes really unfun. I remember this. Because they just start clowning on you. With infinite range M4s. What did I do for this? I did heli, right? Fuck's sake! Literally fucking skimmed me by a fucking pixel. And of course the pizza boy is in there. Oh, this is so AIDS. So fucking AIDS. There goes all of my health as well. So boring.
Yeah, all the submissions exist. The big change is that you don't get their benefits, so you don't get double armor from Vigilante. You don't get increased health from Pizza Boy, etc. Is there food vendors in this? Are you just not watching the stream? Literally picked up food 10 seconds ago. Like, is my entire chat just like using this as a podcast and just not watching what I'm doing? Or do you have like the most unbelievable delay? Like, I legit feel like I'm being griefed. This mission has been going on for a while. Uh, I'm sorry, man. I I'm trying to beat this, believe it or not. As if they're hitting me from there, that's so gross. Simultaneously playing Subway Surfers and watching Family Guy funny moments. Understandable. Have a great day. Yep. Maybe you didn't actually kill these guys. True, they killed themselves. Very true. Did I get him? I heard something. Is there two people? I heard like a blip to say that I killed one of them, I think. There's two of them, okay. I got one. Oh, maybe I killed the shooter, so maybe I can actually just drive by them now? Ah, okay. So I can actually come close to them now and try and get a good shot off on them. I just need them to be on a path where I can, like, predict where they're going to go. Like, right now, they could turn off at any second. But if they're on, like, a straight, you know, road where you can't turn off, then I can fly ahead and get a good shot on them. But they're just fucking trolling me. Maybe I can get a shot off here, but... Oh, not happening. They're too fast. No. Maybe here. I'm lucky. No, not on this weird ass roof. Or maybe? No. I, I landed awkwardly on the roof and I didn't want to slip off. It wasn't worth losing my helicopter for. Just to try and get a quick kill on this dude. It's gonna explode soon. I mean, that would work. He is crashing a lot. He drives like a maniac. I'm just not quite fast enough to fucking... To get him. It's so hard. This is such a terrible area to try and predict where they're gonna be going. He's stuck. Can I get him now? Where is he? Is he bulletproof? Okay. <laughs> I guess his car is bulletproof. He, he's like on 1 HP and I put 60 M4 bullets into him. Ah, uh, this is fun and interesting. <laughs> like my only hope is to like snipe him out, I guess. Probably has tires popped, Momo. Fuck this, I'm gonna get a piece of J and fucking kill this guy. See if he comes this way. Nope, of course. Every single time I get the opportunity to kill him, he chooses to drive in the opposite way. And it's luck and I can't control it.
Fucking unreal. Where did that guy come from? <laughs> Legit spawned right in front of me at fucking 400 miles an hour. So fun and interesting, this fucking mod. Yep. Lost half my health due to a crazy bullshit spawn. I'm just gonna die if I keep going after this guy. Like, I don't know what I can do against him, really. Oh, he's finally blown himself up. Nice one, dude. Cool. Well, guess we're going back to the heli then. This guy's gonna kill me. Shit, I'm better off. Where's my bike? I'm better off driving to the heli point. I'm not gonna be able to take off there. There's no way. I'm just gonna get killed if I try. All busted. We need to get armor as well, because we got screwed over by the cops. These guys are right on my path, which means there's a good chance that they're going to get... <sighs> Incredible. I'm just going to fucking die here now. I'm getting a sparrow, I guess. Fuck me. Get out, dude. Could really do it more M4 ammo at downtown at some point, but I don't know if I'm going to be going there anytime soon. Awesome. Yep. Just keep shooting me. Gonna get a VCN and try and somehow take these things out. Yeah, probably Zainato. If I had to guess, I would guess the same thing. I could have got a shot on him there, but I didn't see that he drove right past me because I just wasn't expecting him to give me a free shot on him. It's unfortunate. My brain is like not fucking working. Yeah, I don't know either, Momo. Maybe they didn't have a line of sight on me or something. I... I... I could be a million different things, I don't know, because I couldn't see them to see what they were doing. They're on the big loop now, which is good, I think. Yeah, they are. Which means I might be able to get some free shots off on them. Let me go here. One button. Wrong. I pressed F when I should have killed the cop first. One button. Make one single mistake. All off the roof. And just like that, half an hour gone again. Insta-bust. Couldn't, couldn't do anything about it. Was busted before I even fucking opened the door. Fucking hell, man. Yo, Millie, thanks for the raid. Hope you're having just as much fun as I am.
I'll give it one more go. And then I'm gonna go and have some food. Almost killed my mouse. What, because of like launching out the window or something? Those last targets hit themselves with mollies. It's news to me. Pretty sure the first time they didn't do that at all. Because of Boomshine Saigon? Oh yeah, that mission is just a joke and not a funny one. Like, my god. I don't remember how many boon Boonshine tries it took me. It felt like a hundred. Like, just resetting over and over again until you don't get pulled into a fucking car or a tree. It's not interesting at all. Definitely one of the most egregious examples of shit design in this mod. In case you needed any. <gasps> Excuse me. Yo, yo, thank you. Trying my best. My plan for auto side was to complete Phil to get minigun. Do we tell him? Oh, you already know? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Chainsaw for ten dollars is a good deal, though. Watching on ESA with some elite commentary. I'm glad you liked it. To my knowledge, there's no way to get a minigun or an M60. To my knowledge, there's no way of getting... Well, aside from using glitches, like the Rampage 30k ammo trick. Yeah. Like, there's no way to legitimately get it. I really wish there was a way to avoid this wanted level. Because the cops is what ruins this mission. Three star cops for an hour. It's just so horrific. Oh, that bike is gone. Actually, no it is. There's no way I'm getting that. It's gone. 100% gone, though. I completed film studios. I've completed everything except uh, phone missions and the final mission. Everything else is done at this point. Yo, Nick, welcome. We. Okay. Sure. Fucking roadblocks, man. And of course they fucking pop my tire. Of course they do. Kind of like G Spotlight. Yeah, G Spotlight was fine. Film Studios was honestly fine. Dildo Dodo was brutal, but it was it was fine. Like it was at least skill based, you know. But everything else was fine. Finally, normally designed missions. Yeah.
Yo, Showtime, welcome. Has anyone ever run speedruns on a new GTA? Yeah, of course they do. If there's one rule you should learn about speedrunning, is that if something exists, people will speedrun it. In fact, the GTA 5 speedrunning community is bigger than the rest of the communities for the for every other GTA combined. GTA 5 is massive. We had people running demos. Yeah, people speed on all sorts of shit. There exists a speedrun of CSGO. I mean, yeah, of course there is. Speedruns are everything. Speedruns of League of Legends, too. Stardew Valley, yeah. Stardew Valley makes more sense because it's like a tangible end. AKA like completing the community center, which is kind of like any percent or like perfection or whatever. Like that kind of stuff all makes sense to me. Where the fuck is my boy Marco Grayson at? He's usually always up here. There he is. Excel speedruns, they're pretty fucking based. Can I shoot, please? Thank you. Okay, now. How do you speedrun League? Fastest way to have your family disown you? Yeah, let's go with that. Where you going, bro? You seen the guy that made a burrito in 27 seconds? I haven't, but that's pretty damn impressive. But I could do it in 25. No doubt. I'm built different. Hey, bud. Random Walton doing all of my fucking armor. Nice. Cool. What about Yakuza speedruns? What about them? think about doing them? What, have I personally thought about doing them? No. It's been on for everything, even the weird Japanese McDonald's training game for the DS. Have you guys seen the video that's talking about that? And how uh, somebody, like, somebody bet on, like, a really expensive auction to find one, and it ended up making it, like, publicly available, and he got his brother to, like, smuggle it from Japan? and shit. That's a great video. I would recommend watching it if you haven't seen it. Yeah, that's a wild video. It's one of my favorite videos on YouTube. It's a great fucking vid.
Drop the link. I'm busy, bro. You can Google it. Or someone can drop it. Nick Robinson. There you go. What is that? A Nick Robinson video? Bro, how did he know? Nope. Tell me this cop AI isn't modified. Cops don't act like this. They just don't. I kinda wanna pay and spray this if I can. I honestly don't think that'll be a problem, though, let's be honest. That's not really, like, in my muscle memory yet. I haven't done it that often. Uh, I need to go north here. Forgot about this. The amount of fucking roadblocks is mad. PSG is goaded again. Relationship with bot action sniper ended. Now fucking PSG is my new best friend. We get a new car, just why not? A bit more health. Yo, SSZ, thanks for joining. I'm glad you like it, Diba. Uh, I did not mean to. Yeah, this is auto side, Zach. Yeah. I think it's around 30. That's what I've heard, but I don't know. I, I've I've killed 20. That's my furthest so far. And they get really ridiculous later on. The furthest I got was number 20, which is another player that keeps spawning cheats and randomly blows up your car when you're driving one, which is really cool and interesting. Of course, I stand in the exact fucking pixel alignment to not be able to shoot this guy. You fucking coward. What does it mean another player? That's that's just what it's called, like that's their name. It says another player is driving around Washington, you gotta go and kill him. Right. Heli time I think. And yeah, they use cheats. So they use like double time cheats. 
and like the card detonation cheat to blow you up and stuff. So your car can randomly explode and the rest of the mission is two times speed, which just makes it way fucking harder. It's really not fun, let me tell you. Let's go get a VCN. Served me pretty well last time. Oh, he on the way back as well, because you never know. If I was missing 5 health, whatever, but 15 is... You know, 15% of my health is quite a bit. There have been plenty of, like, GTA horror stories. But not necessarily, like, named creepypastas. But yeah, there's lots of, like, GTA myths, like, Bigfoot and all that kind of shit. Like, that's definitely a thing. Yeah, CJ's mum's ghost, yeah, all that stuff. That is definitely a thing. Ever checked out GTA Underground? No, I don't think so. That's weird. I parked my fucking heli right here. It's not a mission vehicle. There's nothing blocking it. Yet, it's just gone. How bizarre! Yeah, I guess I got fucking stolen. Awesome. I stole it. Smiley face. Another player has stolen your heli. Yeah. Rip. the second I start getting ahead they turn. Uh... 
Like, for these guys, I genuinely don't really have an idea apart from just, like, let them in eventually drown or, like, blow themselves up from crashing. Because you can't even get close to them without them just shooting you down. <laughs> they just drive so fast. It's like, what am I really supposed to do? Yo, Sparrow, thank you for the five months. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Well, that's unfortunate. I'm going for food. <laughs> yeah, I, th I, th I think it's Half-Life time, but I'm going to go for some food first. Fucking hell, man. Right. I'm going to go and make some sandwiches. I'll be back. Um, I won't turn the stream off or anything, because I'll be back in like, I don't know, 20 minutes or so. So I'll, I'll send you to intermission. Um... Let's see what video we've got cooking up. Oh, I think it's uh, the end of one of the thrice ep or vice episodes, I think. Uh, but yeah, go and go and get some food if you're hungry. Go and get a drink or something. Go and I don't know, go for a walk or something, and I'll be back probably around the hour mark, if not a bit later, a few minutes after. Um, but yeah, be back very soon. See you in a bit.